here we are. This is 2-0 Tato coming into day number three up against 1-1 Yo, two big names in our scene, Mem. And we've got, yet again, another Hindustani pick. We've got Hindustanis for Tato in the blue. And we've got Bohemians for Yo in the red. It's outcrop, but a very different outcrop generation. It's it's yep. east to west now instead yep. of like the north to south we've had. Well, the, the result for the for the game gameplay is going to be similar, but this loose awkward. That's yep. that's correct. I don't know what civilization you prefer here. Obviously, the 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 approach is really important, but I really see a arena approach from Bohemians into Chemistry Castle Age. Yeah, that's yeah, what you think. I could see it. I mean, you got to work hard for it, right? I think if everything goes according to plan. The Bohemians feel really smooth here, but it's hard for the Bohemians to close the map up, right? An arena-style strategy requires the walls. You've got to work for that. So we'll see what Tato tries to do. I would expect Tato to be the aggressor here, though, with some feudal age opening. And we zoom out a little bit, zoom out a little bit, vodka, so we see if this is possible to wall. I mean, it's a wallable map. Yeah. You know, I mean, you have what, how many? One, two, three, four. Well, a lot of good lands there. So, I mean, with some buildings, barrack, or even if you go market blasmid, some palisade, it's a wallable one. Yeah, absolutely. I, I do think that you can't undermake army, though. The Hindustani scouts can take out a house pretty quick because of the extra damage against buildings. Um, so we'll see. I mean, we have seen walls a lot in this map. It's usually like scouts or archers into walls. Yo actually is, is very happy to open Feudal Age, not kill anything, and just play defensive and get his yeah. walls down. Yeah, and this, this civilization have a lot of tools then in Castle as well, because we talk about chemistry, but also you can go few monks as well. Yeah. The spears or pikes in that case, 25% bonus more against against cavalry. Uh, what civilization do you prefer here? I, dude, I've, I've only seen Hindustanis lose. I, I, <laughs> I can't, I cannot lean Good towards point. the Hindustanis right now. I just, I, you know, I think the tech trees just, too limited. And actually, think about it. You have really strong camels. The Bohemians have some of the worst knights in the game. So you're not really going to be able to use no. the camel bonus. Uh, and best halves. Uh, one of the best halves. Yeah. Well. Very yeah. good yeah, halves. Exactly. Well. So <laughs> what you do? Hand cannonies are great, though. But if you're going to counter uh, Hubnisha, yeah. you go hand cannonies as well and Hubnisha or even the skirmishers. Yeah. You know, I don't see tools for for Hindustanis to beat I agree. this. Gulams is not a real option. I do still feel like you know the cheap vills in combination with something like Cav Archer is actually perfect for this okay. map. Hart was was unconvinced of Cav Archers, and then when he finally committed to it, it was far too late. I, I think like double range Cav Archers and, and Castle, we're getting ahead yeah. of ourselves. Three TC boom, you can get a ton of vills because the vills are so cheap. And look at all the areas you can hit. The north and the south, wide open, yeah. very expansive. So And Tato love that he's kind of gameplay. Yeah. A lot of farming. He doesn't yep. mind to go Imperial later than his opponent. Yep. He can have the mic control, a, lo a, lo a lot of army. Okay, let's see what it's going to be. We can see that the walls are already... <laughs> In five minutes, right? <laughs> it's I mean, already it's completed. already completely yeah. full, man. So. <laughs> he keeps thinking on the castle. Right? I, actually, yeah, it's fast castle, I think, because he hasn't clicked. He's at 23 vils, and you correctly predicted it. I mean, it's a pretty yeah. easy wall off for the guy. He's completely walled now. And uh, <laughs> not your not your best prediction. Don't credit. It, it is. Don't credit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, 19 population. It's true that. Doesn't mind too much for Hindustan is that his wall, cheaper village, he might do maybe when he noticed that his wall, what, one, two scouts, no more? Because I don't yeah. think he's going to go forward well, or something. When does he, the, the, you know what could be fun here? If Tato has like 10 million cows, because he True. can't break into his opponent's base, and he knows his opponent's wall, and he now probably assumes his opponent's going fast castle. I could I'd love to see this from Tato. You produce one more scout, you go full scouting in the north, and then full scouting in the south. I'm serious. He's going to have a whole bunch of cows. Yeah, and those are 150 foot each. Mm, uh, let's see. Let's see what we are going to we're going to see. But uh, as I was telling you, two scouts, no more. Yep. Then I want to ask you about uh, Industanis, because since this now is going to be a little bit slow, we can speak a bit why sure. is being picked. A lot more often. Is that important as new discount? Because the civilization at the end I, is the same. I don't think it really matters that much that we don't see any pick at all in any tournament. And now they're picking all the time. Yeah, I think a big thing is the random bans. Yeah. Because you have options. so many options banned. And it, we're just, for some reason, the Hindustanis aren't getting banned. It's one of those things, right? Like, we're seeing them every series. So clearly the random ban is missing them. Uh, Tata's going to go for range. It's going to be delayed there by a wolf, but the villager will be fine. But I think that's part of it. I think players are looking for cav civilizations, and then they just kind of run out of cav civilizations, and 
Yeah, but uh, it's gonna make damage. It's it's, it's not right. something I'm a, a big fan of the Hindustanis overall. I yeah. think ta players are also using that as. Like, it's, it's going to be later on the draft in most cases, I'm assuming, so they're not seeing it as their best sieve either, but they think it can be good enough. I mean, as you mentioned, you only see them lose, so let's see. He Ooh. didn't finish the archery range. Yeah. He didn't delete it yet, so he's not recovering the wood from that from That, that was a mistake from Tattoo. Okay. He thought he was still building it. Okay. And that, I mean, it's going to take some time. And did Yo spot that? Did Yo see there's going to be a range here? I think he spotted it with the scout. Yeah. Right he before does. the scout went down. Ooh, this is good for Mr. Yo. Because right now he only needs what to defend this couple of skirmishes, and then he keep going. It's true that with this aggression, the fast castle is avoided. Yes, yes. Bye bye Tatot. So he feel confident. Do you think this is good aggression here from Tatot? I, the fact that Yo isn't up yet is really good. I, I think it's fine. Like his eco will be good. I'm still sh unsure on if this house is going to stay up or not. Yeah. Like if we could get a click on that. Ooh. More villains than it. That's it. More villagers. Yeah, needed. more villagers are needed. No armor. This bonus? No armor. Oh, he's been another house. But again, it can happen again. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it yeah. can happen again. So yeah. I, I, most likely, though, when the archer comes out, Tata will have to run away. Yeah. But okay. I like run this. Away. I like this from Tata. Like that archer range, man. It's probably not going to produce much in this game. I think it's just to give him a little bit more for his scouts, and then he's hoping that Yo will will overproduce or something defensively, but. Mm. He's doing fletching also, so he's committed. Yeah, he is he's making really a lot committed. for now. But it's good that that uh, Mr. Yo is not being greedy. I mean, he see that he's coming. He's doing the archery rank. He did the fletching as well, so he's doing army. This game is gonna go for the late game, I feel. I mean, with the experience he has, don't think he's gonna Mr. Yo gonna let him go in. Uh, I agree. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting. Uh, is Tatu making outposts along the north? That would make me so happy. Oh man, I mean, there's two areas you're gonna go for long-term golden stone. You're gonna go to the north if you're Yo. Or are you going to go to the south? Tato's got army in the south, and then he's going to have outposts in the north. So this will help Tato later on, it's cool, and that's really good thinking. Sometimes, man, when you're uh, playing and you're you're leaving to go TC, if you see outposts, even if you're in the clear, you don't know that, and you just know they see you, so you won't even go there. Like that could completely like take Yo's mind away from ever going into that location. I know that. I'm a 2.5k player. You know that. Your your mind. Is I have a smurf. Uh, oh, you, you have a smart one. Really? Like, yeah, well, really? I will tell you later. But oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't. You and me, okay? Okay, okay. I believe you. Preparing us all. Much. <laughs> 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 okay, the scout is going to go in. Look at the artist now. He's going to be able to break in. Ooh, this is very weak. He's with fletching. If he's not hurry up, I think he can go in. He's going to be inside. He's going to be inside. He's he needs be a blacksmith. He, he needs another building. Oh. Yeah, no, no, no. He's going to break it now. He's going to break it or not. He has the artist as well, but he's not getting there, Tristan. I think he's going to try another building here. Yeah. The cheap blacksmith actually could have been helpful, and yeah, again, Tato's pressure with the archers and the scouts. If this is any other Civ going scouts, that's not a worry, actually, but it's that Hindustani bonus, so I, maybe that's it. Maybe players in practice have realized yeah. that the scout bonus against buildings is really strong. I mean, the, the economy also is good because, uh, I mean, if you need uh, some expensive uh, units in the late game, that one was 10% more gold you saw yesterday. It couldn't won, but one relic more was giving 4k gold extra to the Viper. Yeah. You know, 4k gold from one relic. So, and there's many maps here that it tends to go for the late game. And yep. this is one of those. Yeah, I agree. So let's see what is going to happen now. We see both players at the end on the way to Castleage. But one villain more for Tato. Triple the army, Tristan. Tatot is in his comfort zone right now. He is, yep. And Yo is extremely, he's very much in the dark. He does not know what Tato is committing towards. He knows right now he can't leave his own base, but this is a uh, you know, rather passive start for Yo. And as he has a stable there, which again, we said, maybe not the unit of choice with the Bohemians, especially against the Hindustani camels. He's doing that because he feels like he needs a little bit more than just the archers. But this yeah. is a great sign for Tato, I think. Yeah, because right now, I don't know if he's going to make this table himself. Was expecting the university. I don't well, Mr. Yo knows. Mr. Yo is an, an orthodox player, you know? Do you consider Mr. Yo a meta player? You don't. He has his own meta. <laughs> exactly. He does. You don't know really what he's going to do. Yeah. When we see players doing castles with unique units, uh, Mr. Yo, yeah, Mr. Yo, Mr. Yo, Mr. Yo. Mr. Yo. Mr. Yo. 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 Yo.
with late is with the Lithuanians, he loved to do this kind of a style. And now he's doing the stable. What is going to be the transition? In 35 seconds, we're going to be 100% sure. But Goldmine and Abred, can we see Botka uh, tattooed base to see if he has a following, if he's doing something at home? He got the stable, of course, but nothing else, right? Well, yeah. he got RT range, so maybe Siege for forward or I, Monastery forward. I, I, I think Tat is going to boom. I think he's going to drop TCs here. Crossbow, crossbow's nice. Crossbow, Bodkin, and then get those TCs down. Remember, Hindustan is so cheap, right? And he's going to boom there, actually. So he's got outposts in the north, and he's choosing to TC the south. Makes sense. Yeah. Yo's going to go a lead skirm with seven skirms. Would still be fine, I guess, against just the archers and... We do see a university. Now, normally you see that and you think ballistics, man, but this might be early chemistry for Castle Age hand cannons. Mm. Well, see, if you see the crowbars, maybe you want to make both. It would be very, very They're, expensive. Yep, well, yep, yep. So, I don't know. Well, he's doing even the armor, so he's really committing on military, not being greedy. I like that. But then in the meanwhile, Tatot is going to be on two TCs. So Tatot still have the presence with the military, and now second tone center. He's in the better position yep. here. Full control for Tato, but Yo comfortable to give it up for now. We'll have our answer on what Yo wants to go for. Ballistics is way faster than chemistry. Uh, but, I mean, you know, if you want to benefit from chemistry, you kind of need to research it early. And the resources are there for Yo. He clicks chemistry. chemistry. So in 90 seconds, he'll have that. Only Civ that can do this, by the way. And uh, then hand cannon's probably coming. So hand cannon skur, actually really hard to stop in Castle. Uh, you can't really add Siege because the hand cannons can kill that. Adding Knights isn't an option for Hindustanis. Campbell's isn't going to do it. So now I'm circling back and I'm looking at, thinking about the Hindustanis and I'm like, uh, what are you going right? to do? Yeah. It's, in, it's in that uh, moment that we were talking before the game that we don't know. Fervor also that this affect not only to the monks, here to the village. Remember, they're going to be faster. It's like kind of like a second wheelbarrow. Yeah, yeah that's nice, right? It's really good. So it's very nice. And now probably the extra TC, or he's going to do more RT ranges forward because yeah. he's moving. He forward, just lost his scout. No, no, it's DC, right? And there he goes, yep. Okay. And all the tone center. I mean, it's good that he just lost his scout, actually, yeah. because he knows where the crossbows are. He would not be going out there otherwise, and he's now looking for those crossbows. Yeah, but now with the hill and chemistry, he's fine. That army, and he's plus two, plus two. You know, he doesn't have ballistic, okay, but with plus two, plus two, and chemistry, it's not plus three anymore. It's plus three even, you know, so... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, uh, it's, it's going to be really, really hard to stop. He Tato is still going with the economy, Will Barrow, but look at uh, Mr. Yo, already Will Barrow and Fervor. I mean, he's behind with the eight villages, but when you are going to make chemistry, it's kind of normal. It's not mm -hmm. a problem for Mr. Yo. Mr. Yo is also, I mean, the game is going well for both. Like, Ooh. they are doing the plan. They, uh, he see those villages moving. Didn't move. Oh, he's going to be... Oh, I like this from Tato. This okay. is really interesting. So he, yeah, he's got the worst army right now. Yeah. But he doesn't want to have to deal with that at home. So he knows that Yo is probably going to come over here. Beautiful micro. Tato will see chemistry. You can see the flame on the arrows there. So he'll know... But no, not I, armor even uh, tato. for Tato. Tato yeah. don't have any armor. Sorry. I, I, no, it's okay. I think like the armor becomes really important when you're going skirms, and and now he's going to do that. So Tato should absolutely switch into some armor upgrades. Wow. Okay, he's coming now with those skirmishes and hand cannoneers. Do you think he should commit more in military, Mister Yo? Because now he's starting to be in a dangerous position. It started to be too many villages behind. Yeah. Yeah. So either kind of go very aggressive now. Yep, because yep. you're not, not going to catch up now in the, in the boom. Uh, not with two-tone center when your opponent has three. So he has to commit now. Yep, he uh, is. Yeah, and he's moving forward with that army. The problem is, like, he hasn't been able to scout too much of this. And now, every time he moves out, Tato just goes directly towards his base. Yeah. So Tato's doing the perfect balance here of, like, the best defense being offensive. Ooh, we missed the massive shot! Man, oh, my that? God. We'll get a replay in on that. But check the population. But that's that horrible one. for Yo. Oh, man. And he's getting attacked at the same time on his base. So he's defending with the mangonel. He's at home now attacking as well, raiding his opponent. And it's 15 villains behind and 15 military behind. And, and Tato, Tato's got to know that Yo has TC'd the south. Because I think he scouted it. This has been the perfect game from Tato so far. He'll see the hand cannons, and he's immediately just going to get right out of here. Yeah. I get perfect example of Tato's offense making Yo make a mistake there. The siege was waiting perfectly. Again, we'll see if we can get a replay in for you here shortly. But perfect start for Tato. I mean, this is the player that beat Viper yesterday. This is the player that hasn't lost a series so far. This dude's a beast. Yeah, such a beast. This, this Spaniard, man. Is the mustache? 
Is the effect of the mustache? Is I, the, oh, we're gonna see now, huh? and then you answer me. It's not but the mustache. And 111, you know the heart. Oh, oh, oh gee, it was, I mean, it's perfect. Yeah, it was perfect. Even that. And, I, and another one. Yeah. Even and a second one. And great. a second one. You know, two times. You know. Now see towards job. Villain's different is still 14. Now stabilized a little bit because three tones center, but he has a castle also in the south, and he knows that he's not in the north thanks to the outpost. Yeah. So he has the map and the control doing the castle there. Uh, Mr. Yo, chance here. Uh, if he has a chance, is first to make this castle, which yeah. I'm not very sure if he's gonna be able to do it, and then go up to Imperial faster than his opponent, which is also something to to really see if it's gonna happen. I mean, he should do this castle. Yeah, I mean, he's sending up fills. He's sending up fills. There's a there's a player who will not be named who needs to learn <laughs> from the amount of villagers. Also, the loom upgrade really helpful when you <laughs> it's important, right? <laughs> <laughs> just, just saying. Uh, you know, still a little scarred from 1200, yesterday. 1300, 1400 guys. Remember, make the loom, okay? <laughs> make the loom. We are talking about those players, right? That's <laughs> listen. Yeah. That's one thing they'll do. Okay, <laughs> they'll get that. Let's see the hand cannons. You were talking about how strong they are. They can kill the mangrove really quick, yeah. But this is a lot of a lot of army by Tato, and even the hand cannons are not enough the in this one. Yeah, and ballistics is in for Tato. This is a perfect game. This is a perfect game. Yeah. Like maybe I could look at an eco upgrade or two, but the time. And the momentum memp, as you like to say, is all with Tato here. Okay, let's see if he's gonna be able to break down that gate now, but he still have the control. And he really knows, because these players really know that he has the economy advantage. I mean, only with the upgrades his opponent is doing, he knows how much he's investing yep. right now. And look, even that upgrade here from the castle to make the gun power units faster, how important is that upgrade now? I don't think it's that important. Yeah, I don't think so. I, I, but Yo's looking for an edge. Yeah. He's like, He's committed towards this, so he's doing anything he can to make his current situation better. And I, I don't hate it for that reason, but that is just a massive force. And sure, like, Industani's, uh, that he can't make knights, camels, what makes sense in this matchup. Tato's just gone pure range units yeah. and boom. It's an incredible eco for him right now. Yeah, he has a great deco. 20 bullets more. The mangrove is still going to survive probably to this because the hand, oh my god, the hand cannon is how powerful they are. But he's defending. In this situation, to have a chance, you need to be in, with the initiative, you need to be attacking. Mangonel is wow. down. Tato is pushing completely. The Mangonel is also coming because it's Mr. Yuan. We know that they don't give up. But in this situation, many of the players will have big up, give up sorry, already. Yeah. Know, you think? Yeah, maybe not the first game. I think yeah. first game, like I, for example, I have a lot of experience losing the first game and second and third game. But uh, you play on longer because there's pressure. The there, yeah, the it, like you want to basically, man, the second you close this game, you want to be over this loss. What you don't want to do is resign and then stew on it in the lobby for like two to three minutes thinking about game number one. So for me, it's play on a bit longer. Yo is very well known for that. But uh, I could see why you don't think that Yo's got a chance right now with Tato being on the way to the Imperial Age, having amazing aggression here, and then having the, the beautiful castle spot in the north as yep. well. That's why. Where are you going to attack now, Tato? I mean, two TCs at home, one in the south, then another that is going to make in the north, protected by the, but that castle. It's a perfect game completely. Echo KD is only one zero. Yeah. But sometimes it's not the most important yep. in this game. And we can see how this is working so well for the Spaniard. And when he reaches Imperial, even a beast like Mr. Yo might consider to give up. Because the Imperial Age, when you are not even close to go up, it sounds to me kind of too much. I think with two mangoes now, he, he could maybe have a good opportunity. And uh, the Hussite Wagon is a unit that can that, that feels tanky. like an Imperial Age unit. Yeah. It's very tanky. And then hand cannons are an Imperial Age unit. So he does still have units that are actually pretty strong. Um, so that's a positive. But obviously, okay. I think he's going to have to find a good fight over the next 90 seconds to for us to really feel like he's got a chance to bring this back. Yeah, his numbers are going up a little bit. Also in military, as you mentioned, 12 Hank Henry is five more in the queue. He got the Hosid wagon and trying to go forward now, he need to attack some raiding that make that Tato has to defend and then he can find the time to go up in Pilar as well because how the thing is that having hand cannon ears, you get bomber cannons right away. Yep. Go on. Look, look at how Tato, I mean, he preemptively made all these houses for if he was ever attacked in the future. Now he drops the Siege Workshop perfectly. He tracks these hand cannons. It's like those hand cannons, they're trying to do what you said. They're trying to get in and do damage, but Tato's just always prepared. Yeah, he always has an answer. And uh, hand cannons are so much more expensive. This was such a big investment for Yo compared to Tato. What that trade I was going to say, what is the trade? You know, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. all for Tato, right? So, aye, aye, aye. Well, resources, though. Look at Bohemia. Nah, he's not giving up. He's going to be now up to Imperial. 
He's on the way to Imperial uh, as well. Hussein but Wagon! This is the good thing. This is the good thing, right? Because having all those units and now going up to Imperial with 100 villains already, it's a solid amount of villains. Yeah. And then you do Bomber Cannon right away. Look at those Hussein Wagon. He's doing Gulabs. Because otherwise, his skims do nothing against that. Yeah, skirms are not good. Now, Siege does a pretty decent job, even just regular Mangonels. But God. those things are tanky. And in the middle, some mistakes from Tato as well. Some random Hussite wagons he has to pay attention to. Tato will now have imp upgrades. He's got Bracer and then Chemistry's on the way. I it's think though, like, I think it's gonna be tough for Yo because the Trebs. Tato's Trebs are gonna take down everything. Still two minutes away from him for Mr. Yo. Yeah, well, you don't need really the castle because you have the bomber cannon right away, but the good thing is that now Tato to got to have chemistry too. Population though is big difference for, for Tato. A lot more villains and also almost double the army. The Trebuchet, let's see the Trebuchet. If he's hitting the castle, right? Let's go a little bit more at the bottom, Mr. Botka. There you go, because this castle has to be repaired. Do you think he should spend a stone here? Because he has only 100 in the bank, just to get some time. I would say you repair it if you think yeah, you can repair it if you think you you can like buy in time. Yeah, so so maybe. Um, it's just so very complicated right now. This is a risky castle. Yo has no clue. He ran past the outpost. He's hoping there's nothing over there. And Tato knows that that castle is going up because of that vision. I mean, this has been coming from feudal age, right? He built those outposts so long ago, but such great attention from Tato. It's not going and up. This it's is not going, going up. to it's be going denied. Up. It's going to be denied, it's going to be denied, and Doubt is always in our heart, but also in all the games, Doubt Castle incoming, and that was the end of the little opportunities to probably come back from the hell, Mr. Mr. Tristan, but yeah. Mr. You is a beast, and okay, I keep going, RT Rangers, I mean, Cannoneers, why not? He's got a lot of resources. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like, okay. he's got enough yeah. resources where I genuinely think we should be a bit critical and say, what, what? Where were you? What were you doing? Like, were you not spending that? I think he could have produced like 30, 40 hand cannons with those on the way to the next stage. But it's hard to be too critical when we see how good Tato is uh, applying this pressure. And yeah, Tato just, he knows the deal. He knows that Yo's going to fight. He's going to keep trying to deny the stones and golds from Yo. He's actually adding his own hand cannons now. And the Hindustani hand cannons have the additional range. So they will actually be the superior gunpowder. He's gonna try to make this castle no matter what. You can see that those hand cannon is even fully abraded. Well, he's missing the plus four that is gonna be there in a moment, but he's losing a lot. Even with the hill advantage, it's a scam. I mean, always the trade is better. And still, those those wagons are just crazy strong, but population difference, Tristan, is scary, man. I mean, it's yep. 170, 110. You check the mini map and it feels that Tato has what? 65, 70% of the map. Well, if he's doing this castle, but there's a trap. There's a trap. In, yeah, so. it's like Tato actually, it benefits Tato. Let him get it up. <laughs> yeah. It's like, go ahead, finish it. Yeah. I, will, I will kill it. I'll just I'm kill it. And then you yeah. won't get, you can't get any of your stone back. Yeah. That ram is on a mission, though, man. He's trying, well, he's gonna make, ooh, but that trip is lonely. Okay, he's gonna, he's gonna make the castle. He's gonna kind of stabilize there. How many villains he lost? 18 villains in the process when it was, well, 1-0 we say to two minutes ago and look at now the difference. So what is do it, you think is, is, is the winning condition here for Mr. Yo, if there is any? That ram has got to do a lot. Okay. <laughs> that ram has been the most successful offensive tool for Yo in this entire game so far. This has not been great. Oh, there he goes. Bombard cannon is posed. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he should have gone for a ram. <laughs> awesome. Let's go, ram! Get it! Get the threat with it. Whoa, it's ramming from far away. Hey, there we go. I wasn't wrong. That's actually, that's actually been insane. Oh, man. Okay, and look at this. The dumb mistake, and he killed one unit, and you did your job. You can relax now. Uh. Top center down. Now with the Bomber Cannon, he's going to take the traps. Three Trebuchet, he need to do more than one Bomber Cannon. How many? He got only one. I mean, with his army, he can be more or less okay. The problem, man, but he still have almost 2,000. What did we were talking? If he had five, six RG ranges, that was the problem. Yeah. Then he didn't have the buildings or, or yeah. what? Because he could have a lot more army than he has right now. Yeah, he does kind of have the buildings here, but this is where the pressure is. He's re You got to micro, you got to do so much. And I just think, again, it, it's so hard to be 
too critical of Yo, at least in from Castle Age beyond, because this has been all Tato here. And Tato, we have yet to see him switch into anything like Hussar for full rating. Yeah, um, and when we have this in the screen, we forget that he's managing all the economy at the same time. Yeah, There's many yeah, more yeah. things that we don't have in the screen at the moment. So the multitasking is absolutely, absolutely real. But population is getting closer and closer to, to double. I, I, I don't know. GG's so called. GG's called. Call GG Tato call. wins Apple. the first game. Crazy. And listen, I mean, I'm going to jump to a pretty pretty massive conclusion here. Yo is one and one, of course. He beat uh, his win, though, in his series yesterday was against ACCM. It was 3-2. Some back and forth games. Yo looks a little scared in some of these games here at NAC5. The wall's really early. Struggled with offense. I think he's I, I th he's got a lot of offensive pressure. I want to see him be a bit more aggressive. More yeah. yo. Yeah, more more, more yo. yo. It was because too wally. Yeah. 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 Like uh, Mr. Yo is more known for those crazy approaches that you don't see it coming at all. Yeah. And then in 5 minutes he was wall. Exactly. It's like I mean, part of that might be the Civ matchup, but True. But you can do also scout like, with, with Bohemians you, and uh, get map control. You yeah. know, you wall. You don't you don't let I mean, Tato was always on his base. Yeah. When you remember that he attack uh, when he, well, he went forward and he lost everything to a Mega No yeah. Shot. <laughs> yeah, but like, before that, yeah. uh, never before. And then you, you give uh, Tato map control, he feels very, very good. There. Well, the good news is, so I was worried f uh, about Yo from a confidence standpoint, that he felt he needed to play that way because underdogs will play exactly just like that. Did His, you call underdog Mr. Yo? I, I'm this saying he yeah, played know, like an underdog, right? Yeah. He right, he played like it. Like, he played like 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 me. I'm like, we're going to hide. I'm going to stay alive, but I'm going to be destroyed the whole game. But he's got drive graveyards in Arabia. And but so there, that's an open map, and this should be more yo coming. It's crazy, right? Because you see the first game, he played a completely different approach that you expect that he's going to play now in his whole maps. Yeah. Yeah, that is, that is interesting. Yeah. You know, it's very interesting, you know? And, and in Arabia... Graveyards, I probably think that Mr. Yo should be favorite there because there's less room to strategies. Uh, you know, strategies, uh, Tato is well known for mm, doing something also. I, Orthodox, I don't know. Would I actually, favorite there I think maps? Tato, I, I mean, I think Tato showed us a great example of how good he is with aggression there. I think Tato's a sick Arabia player. The thing is, with Tato, he never plays ranked games. So a lot of people form their opinions on a player based on how many ladder games they play. And the majority of pros are just playing Arabia, 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 Arabia. And then you have those players who have that Arabia skill set in people's minds. But Tato's a sick Arabia yeah. player, right? He's had some big performances in your Arabia tournament, King of the Desert, over the years. Like, So I see Mongols, and that's immediately something that could be amazing for Tato. Uh, maybe like Slavs as well. I, I think for Yo though, Lithuanians, Huns, Vietnamese, maybe they could be good Arabia or Drive Graveyards picks. Yeah, because I'm thinking also where you pick here, the Byzantines in this in these maps. Um, maybe beach fight because there's no stone and and, and you can go full full trash. There's no towers. You are very close. You know, like Byzant yeah, Byzantines like is sometimes a, an Arabia pick. Yeah, but with all the oldest that you see there, with yeah. the hands even. Yeah. I wouldn't mind I mean, to see the hands in, in Hans Arabia, Mongols. You know? Hans, Hans Mongols. Hans Mongols. Oh, 20 years back. Dude, in, let's know? go. Okay. Sign me up for some Hans Mongols. I'm down. I'm completely down. Yeah, you know? yeah. That'd be you great. Know? It would be great. So let's see. We don't know yet the map, right, that uh, they're going to pick. It may probably got some technical difficulties, but I think they are going to, to start uh, very, very soon. Do you see any any situation where it can pick a whole map from Tatut? Absolutely. Yeah, because I think I think Yo will know if he's going to win today, that he's going to lose games, right? Like if he's going to win the series. So sometimes you want to you want to help you want to pick um, the opponent's home map if you want to find out where he's playing sieves. So um, uh, let let's say you're worried that Malay could be good against you on Arabia or Dry Graveyards. You go fortified clearing where Malay are also very strong. See what Tato's going to play there. And then if Tato plays Malay, you have your answer. If he doesn't, you, you then have a greater understanding of what's remaining. Oh, my so. God. We have game number two, Mr. Tristan. Graveyards, and we have Slavs and Lithuanians. We were talking in the previous game that Mr. Yo loved to go latest, and I don't... I don't mind to see a, a Lady Ras here. Absolutely. With and yeah. I, I probably he's thinking already about that, you know, like going aggressive, but, but really... Against Slavs, you don't want to be also in a defensive position. Mr. Yo really need to go aggro here. Yep. Because if you go defend it, and the Slavs with this 15% farm uh, bonus more, it can be so dangerous. Yep. Yeah, I think Lithuanians are 
it, it's a lot more it's a lot smoother at the start. Um, the extra food you start with helps so much. So advantage yo in that regard. And when this becomes a scout war, having faster spearmen also incredibly helpful. Okay. Um, but like you said, once it gets up to, I think where you really start to feel it, Mem, is around farm 20. That's when your eco is just flying. And uh, that, at that point is where maybe many people would say advantage to the slabs. Yeah, and in this map, for example, map, di map distribution, like resources and so on, this map is well open. There's a lot of gold, a lot of stone. We don't even need really to analyze because there's always resources all over. So it's more even about the gameplay. It's yeah. hard to see here oh, yeah. how unfair the, this map generation is. I don't know what you think. I agree, and I think um, because it's so open, Yo is going to struggle to get to his latest here. <laughs> um, I mean, it is Yo, and he could find some creative ways to wall up, but I think it'll probably just be like Spearmen, Scouts. Uh, there are a lot of Relics on this map, by the way. There's 11, unless they changed it. It should be 11, but uh, more than a standard amount. And then there's also plenty of Graves of Fallen Heroes of the Past. So, uh, sad times, I guess but uh you know we respect those who have who have died and for whatever reason your graves are now a battlefield but uh you know it who knows you know war's a crazy crazy thing we got heart rate monitors up here again now i was not sure if i trusted the heart rate monitors <laughs> i'm not we, sure after yesterday i mean we, some people was dying yeah we, like, well. we saw some we saw some crazy heart rates but uh, this this seems pretty reasonable so let's just let's just believe it they've got some solid uh very even keeled heartbeat right now so maybe both feeling a similar amount of nerves uh is this a second lumber cam or is forward that could be a trash forward I think this is a trash forward. He's going forward, man. He's going to play Byzantine style, but with Lithuanians, we'll Lithuanians. It's fine because the spears and the skirmishes are, are just faster. Uh, can we see Mr. Your point of view to see if he sees the resources, the location, if he has his pro tattoo? He, I mean, he's, he's not, gambling. He's he got so lucky, dude. He got yeah. so lucky. If he didn't see that for another minute, he's he's just gambling and running all around. Yeah. That house really saved him there. Yeah, and now the scout is going to go to the right position. He's going to make probably the barrack just uh, as soon as he can. And now that is going to have luck as well. He's going to find those <laughs> relics right away. And that's beautiful for the Spaniard, Mr. Yeah. Tristan. Seriously. Yeah, so let's see what Tato adapts to this. So usually the best way to counter this is to accept that it's a spear skirm game and go spear skirm yourself with better eco because your vills aren't forward. But... You're up against Lithuanians who have a lot of speed. So the Lithuanian Spear Skirm feels stronger. Slavs do have supplies for free, so you could uh, technically, on paper, make a quick little shift, go for, like, man-at-arms, for example. But that doesn't typically work out. Um, I, I think Tato could, could even still go for scouts, but we'll find out in a moment. Yo is not going to hesitate. And this is the opposite of the Yo we saw in game number one, Mem. This is just full aggression. And we can't confirm that. They didn't listen to us, you know? So yep. it's just on his own. Yeah, he didn't yeah, listen yeah. to us, you know? But it's crazy how the players can play completely different from one man or another. That scout is not going to be uh. out. Now he's going back. Archie range. Do you like this aggression here? Because if you make the slabs go out of the comfort zone, I like the slabs with the scout approach with this crazy amount of farms. And then here, probably it's better for Lithuanians. Yeah, no, I agree. I think it, it makes it messy. Now, the thing about forward buildings is if you're not playing properly if it fails fast you then have both your military buildings in an area that does not help you defend your base so this is something that has to consistently hold control if it does not it could be horrible yeah and it's very tricky because you might say okay make the barrack at home and at least if he's coming with a scout and raid you can do yeah but if you are not going for a barrack forward and then he's doing a stable as well yep. it's the same problem it's you know? the same and problem the, yep. the forward is gone yep right so let's see he's gonna make the house there is, is keep doing army if he's not managed to do a lot of a uh, lot of damage, probably we will see a uh, Mr. U stable at home. Potentially, potentially. It all comes down to the leftover army. So um, uh, right now, actually, this is like ever, after Tato built that tower, I think Yo is considering traveling back home. Like <laughs> Yo, yeah. he's just taking the deer, hanging out. Um, but he he created the issues. Look at Tato, not even double with tax. Yeah, that's a fair point. Didn't make didn't yeah. make already the arbitrage where he has double with tax, so it's already a little bit ahead. You know, it's true that those villages are not working, but He's coming now and trying to make damage in those skirmishes. And Tatot sending villages as well. Tatot feel comfortable. He's not a fortified charge, okay? He's just a it's trezzo, a, it's you know? A, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's for the map, you know? I'm surprised the thing hasn't collapsed yet. It looks okay. like it's about to. Let's see the battle now, because this is so many villages. It's very important here, the villager fight. And I don't know who's going to take the first kill. It's going to be Tatot for sure. That village is down. 
And Tatot feel comfortable in this situation now. He's yeah. controlling the units, and those bullets really well. Mr. The thing is, I, I like Yo's forwards, but when it comes to m tiny micro moments, like Vil fights, which is really technical, it, that's all Tato for me. Yeah. I, I think like Yo, um, he, he doesn't really seem to be the player that could compete. And there's like no hesitation from Tato. There wasn't then, there's not now, and Yo just backs away. But Yo, Yo might think about the stable now because he's not seeing the Spearman mem. So yeah. to your point, stable could make sense from uh, Yo right now. Yeah, and two villages behind. He lost one or with 24 seconds idle TC. I don't know if he's doing the stable. And how many farms he got? Vodka, can we go quick to Mr. Yo base to see? It's a good amount of farms. Yeah, already. that's good. That's I mean, good. I will do a stable now when he can afford it. He doesn't have the wood. It's good at farms as well for for Tato, But you need to do something else. Today. Yo is struggling, man. He's struggling. He gets house yeah. now, right? So his, his idle TC goes up. He is going to get town watch. But In a tower forward himself. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that tower. I think he's denying three farmers. Get his own presence in in, I in, think in this area. Go on. Let's see if Tato brings a couple vills here. Yo, it may be expecting that possibility. What will Tato do? Tato can't make. Another tower of his own. One of the best ways to punish someone who makes an early defensive tower is tower them somewhere else, because then they can't deny it. And right now, just some skirm micro. Mem, when you thought Yo Tato, I'm sure you thought, oh, skirm micro. Woo. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't sure about that. You're right. <laughs> okay, let's see. He's going to go back now. He's going to go close to that tower. The tower is going to be up. This is going to deny it. He deleted already, I think, the, the, the farmers. Yeah. All right. And those villages. I see a mining camp there, but it's the stable I think gold. is happening. I think the wood it went down dramatically for you. I don't know if it's a spam. No, it's at mining the camp oh, there. That mining camp with gold and stone, I like it. Yeah, it's it good. is on stone. It's yeah. a fair point. He find the wood here, but those three villages. I mean, the problem now is that those villages are not working from the start. It's already a lot of economy behind. You yeah. Know? But then you check resources collected. And it is the same. How we explain this? Yeah, it's the farms. I have no idea. It's the farms. The farms right? Tato and and you know Tato hasn't had as many villagers walking around, but he did pull a bunch at various yeah. points. Okay. It's it's tough. Um and Yo Yo is good at this man. Like I've seen it so many times from him. He just kinda smothers you. You either overreact or you underreact to this. And then it, let's say you react just perfectly, which I'd say is what Tato has done. He's still gonna beat you to Castleage. I don't know how he does it. Yeah, it's crazy. I think uh, well, Mr. Yo has a lot of experience doing these kind of, of games as well. So. Oh man. Yeah, he's doing good now. He's doing good. This catch up now in the KD, as you can see. He's gonna make another tower. He's need ten stone more. And the fletching fletching is there, and Tato doesn't have the stone yet. Well, either player has the stone yet. He's gonna be probably at the same time. This is a stable now for Tato and Blasmith. He's gonna be floating, he's gonna do more army, stone wall. He know that he has to wall here, but he's gonna make a tower. Mr. Yo or not, he's doing the tower. Tato is doing a counter tower. No, Villier down. So now he's getting closer and closer. Military numbers in favor to Yo. Oh, and this gets situation, this situation is very, very good now for the Chinese player. Yeah, seriously, kill the villager. I mean, the skirms are just insane there. And he just found this opportunity finally. A beautiful job from Yo to be patient with the initial rush, because he could have so easily felt like he has to give up fully on the idea. He's found a good foothold at Tato's base. He's going to send some spears home because he's expecting some scouts from Tato. He saw the scouts but, already. So I mean, he knows that he's there with the... Didn't see the stable, yeah. but saw the scouts. Yeah, so he, he senses his spears. Yeah, he senses it. No, it's, it's a good call. And I, Yo does this better than most pros. Actually walls in the forward tower. Who would have thought that, right? And, <laughs> you know, those faster skirms for Yo helped him so much there. Tato was pulling away. He was making the right moves. But Yo could just dive in. With well, those scrims, he got like four kills in a row. I mean, it, it seems too little, but sending two spears uh, home. Here we are again. Going in the tower. But now he has the fletching. Fletching as well, but he has so many skirmishes. They are so fast, as you can see. But with the spears now at home, is the problem. You are safe at home. You you, you save your army. He can't. The spears are coming. Mr. Yo has a lot of army, Tristan. Yeah, and it's just the perfect timing from Yo. He just chases Tato down. He knew Tato could be moving out. He found him. And this goes from bad to worse for Tato. As, as Yo is planning for the Castle Age, Tato still sees a bunch of farms. He spent so much food. He spent so much wood this game, and it's brought no benefit. What an <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it's I mean, crazy. You okay. Know? I mean, I feel like you know you're in a spot where you could be like, okay, this is good. Let's go up to the next stage. Yo's like, we want more towers. Yeah. <laughs> and he's coming. He's doing more army. Well, he feels that he has the resources. Six on stone. I see. It, it, well, uh, transition to castles and the latest we were talking. Yeah. And Tato is not even close to go up with only I, five scouts. I got to say, though, there's one spear there, yo. 
This could be this could be really bad. Oh, look at the tower! This, but this he knows, he knows, and that's why he's doing the tower there. He's walling those. He's doing the houses. He's walling everything to make the tower there because he knows that he's not doing this. He's gonna lose absolutely everything. Yeah, and the spears are actually getting some decent hits. There's two of them. I was wrong, and. Well, actually, they're all dead now, and as 10k viewers arrive here for day number three, thank you for joining. Morning. Those villagers are in jeopardy for you. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, but he's trying to get you some time, some time in a Monday, guys. You're going to enjoy it a lot with the tournament. If a Monday 10k at this time, Tristan, my goodness, it's going to be insane. The tower is going to be up. The tower is going to... Uh, that Ooh. is, yeah. No, that. it's not going up. Well, but he keep him away. That's from true. His base. That's true. And I'm, now he's on the way to Castle Lake. Yeah, I'm kind of torn on it, right? Because you, you're exactly right. These scouts could be at his base, but it's like, okay, what are the scouts going to do? They're going to go kill Vils. Here comes a village. What? Ooh. We're walling by yo. You. You don't see this often, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you don't see this often. Disrespect, man. Okay. Yeah, you can do that okay. type of quick wall. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quick. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> this is the most yo. That is the most yo stable I've ever seen, though. Back to the where that villager was. There's a stable oh my going Lord. up. Yeah. <laughs> And Tato, Tato thinks that's just a weak villager that's going to meander his way home. But look how open Tato's base is. That'd be huge. And he could kill that villager. He's very low HP. He got also a uh, range unit. Well, actually, no. He has a scout only. But now those scouts are with Forgen and Bloodlands in three seconds. I can't believe that he's going to take so many villains here. It's true that he's feudal age forever. But he's taking how many? Already two? Should be two. Three? Should be two minimum. Yeah, He's going to be four at the end. In total, he was with one kill, and now he's 5-1. Yep. And Yo's, like, Yo's base is, is not pretty. <laughs> what base? <laughs> it's like, open all. I yeah, mean, every, like, look at that. Oh, you know, the gold, the stone. He does have yet the stone for the castle. He needs to at least wall the woodland. He's open completely, man. It's crazy. And where do you do make, make the castle now? He's in Castle Age. And now he's going to buy. And the castle is, I believe, close to the DC. I think you have to build it near the gold because... You kind of have wood near the go. Yeah, just close to the TC. I mean, he doesn't have anything to defend. I, I mean, it's like, not. Listen, it's not pretty, but at the end of the day, he's in Castle H. Tato hasn't even clicked, and Yo is. How, how many times have we seen Yo just take his time with Latus? Yeah, and then he gets to like three or four Latus, and he he hits one side, and then another group of Latus hits the other. Like Yo with unique units is just so freaking good, dude. Can't kill everything there yeah. with the Latus, but 50 is 38. It's true that Tatot is not even close to go up. This is stable with the Knight, and the Knight also here. Yeah. And he doesn't know, Tato doesn't know that the stable <laughs> is there. The Knight is going to arrive very soon. He's going to start to raid. This is open? No, it's wall. And the Knight now cleaning what? The Oddpost go for the village, man. Yo's yeah, got to be oh. careful what yeah. trees he chops on that wood line. Oh, that's smart from Tato. Tato's actually luring that knight away because Yo is distracted. And Tato will probably dive back to that woodline in a moment, realizing that tree is almost overchopped. So, yeah, I mean, Tato's res collected is really healthy here. If he can hold with some spearmen from the knights and latus, he could be okay. Yeah, the problem is the mobility is going to have now uh, soon, Mr. Yo. I believe that also he will do the monastery. We, we will see soon at his base if he's doing a monastery. I mean, he collected already two, three relics. There you go. Monastery is already there. He got the spears as well. And now with Villas, uh -oh. you need to... Let's see if Tato distracts the spears. He's trying... He pulled those scouts to distract the spears. That was very well played from Yo to recognize that because it's so easy, man. You look away, you think the spears are chasing, and suddenly they're like 10 times away running the other direction. But did it happen? And now we can see what? We can see what? Is there some rating? Because the, the truth is, he's not catching up in village. He's not really taking any damage at home. Tatot, so he's fine for now, Tatot. Yep. And Tatot will do what? Monasteries as well? To yeah. avoid I the latest uh, night raid? Yeah, I think Pike. Pike is an obvious one. He's got 11 spears. Ooh. I just love what Tato's doing with these scouts. It's just consistent raids. And he could get villager picks with these scouts, and he's going to. He's going to get two more. There's one, and there's the second doink right there. No. He's going to save it. He's going to save it, Mr. Yo. He could be happy. And still, they could get in favor to the Spaniard and not get in any raid. The latest is already there, but with all this happening, Tato is still not in Castle yet. Yeah, I know. But it's check crazy. His population. Population yeah, it, is very healthy. Okay, Yo is finally at a point where he's got the three to four latest. These units ignore armor. They still will take bonus damage from spears. Can he find a way to find damage here? Doesn't look like it, man. But I'm oh, no, really no. impressed with how Tato's played this. Like, Yo has played... This is what you predicted when we... When I walked in the door this morning, we talked about it. You're like, Yo and latest, right? But 
even though it's inevitable and usually he inevitably wins, Tato has got a beautiful eco setup. He can expand to multiple TCs. He can have pikes in defense. And Pikes, no, 14. Yeah. It, many. It, like, good yeah, luck. Many of them. Eight latest you know, eight can't push that many pikes. I, I mean, I know latest are strong, but. Yeah, no armor. No bloodlines, no no, no armor. But but think, but now, Mr. Yo can do what Tato's been doing. Now he can be the one who is raiding. He can now try to move, and he, if he pick, pick a few villains there, I think Mr. Yo feels in the comfort zone as well. But you need to wall that area, get back. Mr. Botcat to that TC because he's gonna oh! make now so many damage. The two spears are there, but those are with bloodlines and plus one attack. And his light gas already eat light gas right now. That TC is not going to be up. What a great job from Tato. These were supposedly leftover scouts, right? These are the scouts that you put in the back of your fridge planning to eat, but then forget about it for three weeks. It shouldn't do anything. You should throw it out, but he's been using this. He's been getting the most out of it. And Yo, while he is here with the latest, like he's still going to have big problems economically compared to Tato. Yeah, he's eight villains behind, if you can see. Only the Luta scores corner for both players. Second to see up already for Tatot as well, even faster than Mr. Yo after all this happened. KD in favor to Tatot. The advantage looks to be for Tatot after all this. Yeah, it's it's impressive. It's impressive. And like, remember game one, Tato got the lead, held the lead. It felt inevitable as a victory. Here, Yo had the lead and he had a really good opportunity. And there's a difference, right? Tato is able to, to actually claw the game back. He was never really that far behind them, but he was never able to give Yo any real advantages here. Yeah, but now you check the numbers, and that does a lie. Echo KD, he keep killing more villains. I don't know where he's even killing the villains. Those ladies are really fast now with the bloodlines, finally, with some upgrade. Relics with one relic, so they have the plus one attack. He yep. made now three relics, and then he, he get plus six in castle. You don't stop them. Yeah, you it, it the latest. I agree with you, but eco is an important aspect of that, so that's something to pay attention to. I mean, those those four latest ran through, they killed what four or five vils, and now they just get to leave again. Like that's insane value from you. Yeah. Know, that's and unbelievable. And it's more. It's yeah. getting more together, more all together. Look at the number. Yeah. Look at the, the army numbers. Look at the army numbers. It's getting closer. It's eleven also, latest. Also, Yo has three relics. Oh really? Whoa. So so he will have plus three attack solely from the relics which makes the monks for Tato even more important now. And he changed now the direction of those latest. The pies oh. are on the left, he's on the right. I don't know if he's Tato. gonna be able to raid with those. He's not going, mm, even now doing devotion. Okay. Okay, stat guy, what are you trying to do here? You want us to try and say that? Is that the thing? Really? The plural of latest is let. Le I'm not gonna try. Yeah, what's he, what's he doing? What's that guy doing to us, man? I don't know. Well, thank you very much for the information. We appreciate it. Game. Big fight here, latest against the pikemen. And that is not exactly where you want to fight with those latest right now. Yeah, but look at the, look at the numbers. It's getting closer. I mean, these 15 pikes, 10 latest. The pikes, he can't do anything now. He's walling. There's no siege at all. And if he's not defending with the spies, what he has at home, the latest are going to raid. If he dive in, he's going to take a lot. Those are, remember, with four relics already, Tristan. So they're going to eat the villages. Pan down. Every 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 hit is, is a villager down. Yeah, and this is, it's a bit weird. Tata moved forward with pikemen. That's a he defensive need. unit. Yeah. He feels that he's behind in Echo. Maybe. He feels that, okay, he was much faster than me in Castle, so I'm behind an echo. He doesn't need to attack, he needs yeah. to hold at home, honestly. Uh, well, I mean, I will say he held, right? So he judged it correctly. Yeah. He's killing monks now, and his pikemen on the front teleport. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> teleport bug. Uh, the pikemen on the front can maybe get some decent value, but again, we are seeing the latest number rise. We've got like 11 of them. And this unit's just insane, man. You've got the extra attack from the relics. You have the high base attack in the first place, plus attack speed, and then the ignoring of the armor. I mean, this is what this is your sweet spot. This is what Yo believes can win him this game. Mr. Yo has said several times in interviews that his favorite unique unit is the latest. Yeah. You know, so he feels very good with this one. Villas number only five now. Behind. I bet you. I bet you, if you were to ask him right now, he might actually have latest at number two and Manaspa. Oh yeah, at yeah, number yeah. one. That well, after the yesterday Georgians. interview, yeah, after <laughs> yesterday interview, you yeah. know. Oh my God. Okay, he's going to go around with those latest, with those uh, light caps. Sorry, but he's coming again. He's going to convert probably, but he's gonna kill that monk. He cannot go back. He's gonna. T oh, didn't get the conversion. He's looking better and better for for you. I agree. This is plus five. With forging, oh, he canceled. He's doing the armor. Well, you you have the relics. You need the armor, and then you you take everything here. I yeah. mean, 
Uh, Popolich is still very healthy, but he's gonna keep producing late in the whole game. The thing that that's true. The thing I, I'm still really impressed with with Tato, like this game is ten times harder to play as Tato right now, and he's still finding enough conversions. He still has a healthy vill count, but he's also still keeping Yo honest with different types of raids. Like right there, another villager goes down. Like have of killed monks. I do feel them. Something we haven't talked about is this natural hill towards the middle between them. Uh, a little woo 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 there, but right in the middle, that hill. Oh, there. That hill is huge. Whoever gets a castle on that hill might end up winning the game. Oh, but Tato is not going for the forward. He's scared about the latest. Look at the castle he's doing at home. Yeah. So he's giving the map control, and in this situation, he's gonna be happy. Obviously, Slavs Echo is very very strong, but now. Uh, Lithuanians got even Will Barrow. Well, no Will Barrow for Tato, so eventually it's pretty much the same numbers. Let's see now, because those latest with the plus two armor and the plus four attack, now he's going back. It's so many pikes, he probably doesn't want to take the risk to trade there. <laughs> eh, who has the advantage now? I think it's pretty even, uh, it's, no? It's really even. Like, I think on paper. Well, no, I just think Yo has the advantage. Like, having the relics rel is too yeah, much. The, the relics, the relics are a big deal here. Also, the unique unit for the Slavs has insane armor, and ignore and latest ignore it. Yeah, and you don't need to like do anything. They just like they look at your armor and they say face no. to face, face to face. Yeah, they say I, no. You know, <laughs> and there you go. He's gonna come here. He's gonna go with the raid. So many farms exposed there. There is a tower, but with the plus two and those latest, no problem. He's gonna keep raiding. There's so many pikes coming. So many pikes coming. How these latest are going to work against those pikes? We're gonna find out. But he's still killing villages. Look at now the Echo KD. I wonder if Tato could trap this. Like these came in through a choke point. The Tato obviously has to garrison, and this is gonna be a big headache. But there's a world where maybe these latest oh. can't. Like they have to run through the castle at the very least to escape. But this, this is what the latest do. Tato, some quick gatage here, but this is they still a instantly. big problem. They die instantly. Yeah, it's Those insane. This... He, 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 they die, and now he's going away. Man, might lose one or two, but he's already 22 villains down. Heavy Plow, Bozo doing all the upgrades with still five villains behind. It's, it's crazy. Because yep. he keep, but the hill you mentioned is, yep. for, is for Mr. Yo. Smart. Smart. And then it's a question like, there's nothing wrong with continuing to just produce more latest, but I really think you've got your opponent hard committed to pikes. There's a lot of them out there right now. I think Imperial Age is something Yo's got to be thinking about. Uh, Lithuanians have skirmishers, which can help with the pikes. Also, just hand cannons could be an Bomber excellent Bomber cannons, choice. I mean, yeah. as Slavs in this situation, at least that you are super ahead, you don't have an answer against Lithuanians with four relics and the Imperial approach. Yeah, it would have to be like Halb SO. And this is the same thing we said earlier with Slavs against Berbers, right? And it's like, Halb Siege Onager is slow. This is an open ah, and map. expensive. Yeah, I expensive, mean. yeah. So th this is an open map, and your, your best option for an open map is the Boyar, Siege which dies. Relic to the latest. Six relics already is not add more bonus for those latest, but well, gold, you know, resources, resources, resources. And now the raid is insane. It's actually insane. He's taking the lead. And I think Tatot is calling the GG. What a game by, by, by both. But Mr. Yo with the latest, with this raid, Tatot was playing good. It was the mistake, the pikes, just keep at home, I, or no mistake at I, all? Like. I think I think it's hard to say there's a mistake. I think Tato, the, he needed a bit more of a counterattack early. That would be what I, I was saying in Feudal Age. Yeah. He found some opportunities. But listen, this is classic. Um, we don't see tower rushes much these days, but you remember back in the day where if a player had a good unique unit, which you obviously need a castle for, they would go tower rush first because it puts you on the stone, and it kind of builds you up towards that castle. And that's what that yeah. forward accomplished there for Yo. It was a successful forward in that he he pushed back a lot of Tato's army. He also kept Tato in feudal age to like 25 minutes. And this isn't a nine villager start, right? Like that was an extended feudal, gave Yo the time, and he was just so it, patient with the He's going to see triple stable with the slabs. Uh, according to the economy, he has going full knights amongst yourself, maybe a better option? Because mm -hmm. with the monks, in case that of obviously latest versus the knights are gonna be for later, but for that reason you go yeah. one TC, Slavs Echo, Knights and Monks. Yeah, I think it's hard to say better option, but it could have worked. I think the thing that Yo did a really good job of is there was like every area that Yo could take damage was hidden by the castle, so you had the gold protected. And then where did Yo expand his eco? To the north of the castle. All that front yeah. eco he actually abandoned. He also had monks too, so but it was a it's, very classic it's tough. Mr. Yo play. That is Yo right there. This like, was Yo. If this was Hidden Cup, you know? If huh? this is Hidden Cup, it's not hidden. Like, it's not hidden every, anymore. Everyone's like, that is Yo. <laughs> this is Yo. This is Yo. Yeah, you exactly. Know? 
Yeah, you have to tell it, yo, please, uh, other strategies. Don't spoil the <laughs> tournament, okay? Don't spoil the tournament, okay? Anyway, game number three will happen now. Both very serious. You can feel that this series is so important. And a very fast map, Tristan, and with a very short game, probably with <laughs> Portuguese and Malai. Victoria time even I was possible. Gonna say, oh I was going to say, God, I was okay. going to say, do you think Yo goes for Victoria's in this one, man? Because <laughs> it's there's a real possibility. I think like, okay, so Malay, actually, I, I feel are much stronger here, man. I'm going to tell you why. Um, the, the, thing, the, the strategy players have been going for very frequently, I've noticed, because you can't wall to the sides on this version of the map, is they've been going fast feudal. So fast feudal is just perfect for the Malay because th very frequently on boomy maps, they're going to try that anyways so they can rush the eco upgrades because they, they already rush so much faster. So I feel like... Tatsu could just go fast feudal into eco upgrades, or he could go fast feudal into some army. Obviously, Yo clearly expecting that because yeah. Yo is starting to wall already. Yeah, but I feel Tatsu is gonna go scouts. Yeah, I can uh, see it. Fast feudal, probably for sure. Yeah. Don't think he's gonna go right away for castle. I mean, you don't need to go with Malai right away because also you prevent that your opponent is doing something else. Yeah. And with Malai, you make a couple of scouts, you control the map, and you're still gonna be up in time. Yeah. With I, the I, bonus they have. Yo is a big fan of orcing guns. Yeah. And if you think your opponent will initially prioritize the outside, the middle is so valuable here. I could see Yo going fast castle orcing guns, pushing through the middle. Orcing guns will deal with the scouts. And then obviously he'll have to adapt from there. But I mean, it's not a crazy thought to think that we might see Yo go to stone here and just drop a castle. I mean, you don't need to drop the castle forward. Use at home. Yep. Go with the organ guns and then follow for there. Like, 1TC with Portuguese is one of the best civilizations to go 1TC. Yep. Like, it is. It and is. you use the Victorias later and you're fine. And he has done this before, you know? Yep. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, let's see. We got a tweet flying in there. Uh, my eye, it's it's a lot of text. My I, I can't read it all. I believe that. Is that Debbie? That's Debbie. Not even with the go. glasses myself, you know, but people uh, can see it properly. So, guys, remember, you put hashtag NAC, NAC5, okay? Oh, it's Debbie's birthday. Happy okay. birthday, Debbie. Thank you, production. All yeah, right. I could not see that because I'm old. You're 25, Memp, so I don't. you haven't run into those issues yet with eyesight, but I will give you. Someday. I will give you some advice to keep 25. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> clearly cast a lot of Age of Empires, right? <laughs> no, not this. No, not this, not this. Do something else, you know. Do something else. Uh, okay. Is uh, now... Mm, Castellitz is going to be for you, but Tatu is going fast feudal. Yeah. I don't see any barrack. It's, no it's feudal boom. Yeah, I, I mean, okay, think about it from Tatu's perspective. It feels so smooth to go for scouts. Yo's going to know that. Yo's probably going to wall. So a little bit of guessing games here. Very good for Tato. He hasn't invested into a barracks in the stable here. And we'll see what his eco looks like. But the Malay, since they spend less time researching the next stage, they basically get back to producing villagers faster. So eventually, long term, Tato will have the villager lead here. But okay, so if it's going to be organ guns, well, Tato needs to know about that. And then Tato needs to go for siege to, to hit them. Yeah. Siege and monks, if... Do you still prefer them ally with this uh, kind of approach? If um, Mr. Yo is going organ guns? Mm, I think it's much closer. Yeah, I think it's much closer than I... I think I said much better than Malay. I think it's much closer with organ guns. Uh, and maybe you don't really need to go super aggro. Like, you can go aggressive to get the relics. Yeah. And then wait for it. And then just you don't need to yeah. go. You don't need to go, like, clown completely. Okay, yeah. I will go super aggro in Imp. Yeah, and I make my Phytorias, make even monks to support those organ guns. It's tricky here for Malai. Yeah, but maybe Malai is gonna go also one TC. I think. Yeah, I mean, I think there's gonna be a, a lot of scouting that's needed here. Yo, from what we can see though, is not on stone at all. But the Tato's uptime should be insane. And what I really like about this this feudal boom uh, from Tato is when you have so many farms with horse collar, you don't have farms reseeding in early castle, which means you have so much wood. So it's like really easy to afford the second and third TC, the monastery, the siege workshop. That That's normally the weakness of your standard fast castle is you just, you, you can't add as many farms. You don't have as much food coming in yeah. and, and you're also spending more wood to catch up on the farm, so. Well, it's clearly, it's clearly approach for both, right? Yeah. So uh, he has already a lot of farms. He's gonna go for the feudal boom. He has the double attached and the horse collar. And if we check now, Mr. Yo, 
is doing the market. It and I was planet. wondering, and I, I was wondering, this. okay, because the 24 pop felt really weird, the no farms felt really weird, and then the no stone felt really weird. So something had to give here, and yo, telling us a lot, he's getting loom, which means he may leave his walls, and he's sending a bunch of villagers to stone. So he's the Orc guns forward. we talked about. Yeah, and he's going to go forward, uh -huh. because why you made the loom then? Uh, exactly. going to be a forward castle. Yep. Oh, yep. man. Oh, man. I mean... He will be afraid, maybe, to, to see a scout from Malai, but it seems he didn't see any scout surrounding his palisades, his walls. There's no any military. Do you know, and I, I think this is okay if you don't, don't feel bad. Do you know if the way the stones and golds are spawning in these bases is always the case where the stones forward and the golds back, or does that vary? I think that depends. That variant, it does depend. Yeah, yeah. well, Tato's a very lucky boy then. You wanted to say depends. Uh, well, you were missing, right? <laughs> no, it just felt natural. It just felt natural. But like, but like, Tato's lucky then, right? That because like, I think you prefer to lose your stone than your gold if you're going to yeah. get castle dropped. Now, I say lucky. I don't think anyone who ever gets castle dropped says, "Ooh, I'm lucky." But um, yeah, but still, you have to move. Yeah, yeah, you have to move, That's and true. then uh, he's gonna be in a in a comfortable position. Look at the economy. I love this balance economy. Twelve on wood, one on foot, three on gold. Eight on a stone. And now what you do? It's the stone miners is the one that you send forward. Yeah, so he's probably going to buy. No. You get to 550, and by the time you're there, you have enough gold to buy the next 100. I think that's it. Well, he's sending four. Now he's sending another four from you the gotta stone. you got to get to 550. Eight villages. Nine villages forward. Oh, man. Mr. Yo is trying to get the 2-1 with a crazy strategy. He's going to send so many villages forward. And honestly, if you tell me, arena, fortified clearing, so on, scout, and take the relics, I prefer this. You prefer the you prefer I the prefer this kind fight. this kind of strategies, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. it can I you don't know how it's going to go, yeah, you know. I the agree. other is a lot more passive, okay. You see the, the micro control input to, to take the relics, but now we see wild Ooh. aggression here couldn't be closer, you know, and now he's taking the stone, he's taking that outside goal. Barrack for Tatot, he's gonna be up to castle it in a moment. And it's so funny because if Tata went scouts, this would never happen. Ah, never. But he didn't want to go scouts. Ooh, look at the walls. And now he's going to turn this into an additional layer of arena. Smart thinking from Tato. Good news for him. I mean, he's going to click up, and he'll be in Castle Age soon. But, man, my favorite games on this map has produced some great ones over the past year or so are the games where one player pushes the middle and the other guy wraps all around the side. Did you see the game with Tato and Dow where Tato converted Fatorias from Dow at one point? Counter four war. Yeah, it was yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. We'll Pretty see. crazy. Yeah. But but here, this is five relics already for Joe with this castle. Where is the scout at? It's probably not in the middle, right? No, no, no. Now it's, it's on the so outside. Right. Yeah, yeah. Five, five relics. relics already for, for Yo without any effort. You yeah. make the monastery, you're going to get the relics. And this is the scenario we were talking. What needs the Yo need? Just to go imp. This yeah. is why Tatot is probably working into make a defensive castle at home and try to go in Pilak himself. Imp himself, yeah. Actually, I think that's it. I think Tato uh, goes siege workshop for a Manganel or two, and then once a castle right nearby here, so he can go for uh, fast imp. But Malay could get to imp faster in theory. Plus, Tato has all this food, which is the beauty of it for him. But um, I mean, you can't make Victorias. Yeah. So if you have the lower eco approach with Portuguese. You can go for Fatorius. We actually have a petard, though, being created from Yo. So Yo wants oh, wow. to break through these walls. Want to, because he wants to avoid that fast aim. I mean, you, you don't want to go wild in, but you have to do something. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. want to make prevent that Tato is going to have, you know, a healthy economy. Because right now, yeah, he has a castle forward, but t only for Tato to make the, the walls. Yeah. He didn't lose anything. Now the moves, and it's fine for now. Now, the balance change that the devs made to these organ guns after they terrorized people for a solid, like, two or three years is that they do, like, no damage against Siege. Like, it feels yeah. very unnatural, but balance-wise, it's really solid. And that means this Manganel that's coming out is going to be devastating. Like, yeah. I know Yo's going to break through, but, like... Need to find it. Where do you need, go? Need to find the Mangonel. Uh, he's going to find it. Uh, can we put Mr. Yo Fog of War, please? Mr. Botka, Fog of War for Mr. Yo and see. He sees, he'll see it he now. see it already. Okay. But he cannot see any Mangonel. We're going to keep a little bit with the point of view from the Chinese player because we want to see the reaction. It's not like the POV, but we know exactly. But now you see, immediately he's going back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know, he's going back right but away. Like, Petards cost what, like 60 food? He made two of them? Yeah. To, to break through and realize, oh, that's a bad idea? Oh my god. I mean, scout, the oh, scout. The scout could, is still alive. The scout could help, but I mean, that 
th that, that Manganel is still going to kill Working Guts here. Th this should be okay for Tato. Yeah. Yo's micro is exceptional, though. How has he not lost one yet? The hell, I mean, and not even half HP for yeah, that one. Seriously. And the scout is still alive. Would you make now redemption? Redemption on the way. Well, now Mons with redemption and the organ gans. This is a problem for Tato. It is, but, but Tato's been on that stone on the outside, waiting to drop a castle here. The timing's crucial. I, I get so impressed with these two, man. It's like one player shows up with an excellent strategy, the other one finds a response to it. And we'll not, see. Yeah. And it's not completely a clone strategy, because if we go back to Mr. Your base quick, Mr. Botka, we see very healthy yeah, economy. This is, this is a, a high-level economy right here for yeah. Yo. I agree with you there. And the monks are coming, so he's going to try to convert. Let's see if he's going to be able to do it. I love the outpost. I love the outpost already, because you want to prevent that he's coming with okay. another mangonel. You are getting map control, and this is a race to Imperial. It is. Right it is. now, for Tato, both players. Tato has to be careful. If that mangonel gets converted, his castle's in trouble. But he also can't like build this castle too far forward, because he can't rely on using his mangonel against the organ. So he almost has to build the castle like to the side of his TC. Yeah, he should know. That tells him Redemption's in. Yeah. Okay, so he backs away. And Tato's gonna castle drop Yo's base! Ooh, Tato's gonna castle drop ooh. Yo's base! And got him bits! And got him bits! And listen, listen, man. If you're gonna go imp, you go imp in your TC. And there's gonna be a castle on that TC. I love this decision from Tato. But uh, he's not gonna go Imperial anymore, Tato. He's not gonna go. You guys should see him. We will sit down and T90 just jump like he's scaring me, you know, like <laughs> because T90 is big, you know, he's big. And he jump and I was, what happened, T90? If like, you see the castle, I'm scared completely. <laughs> You know, but there is a oh! the cast that he bought it 700. How many bills? Gold. How many bills? I can't so see. many. No, 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 no. He's denying. Mr. Your own point. This is terrible for Tato right it is, now. It is. It's that terrible will for Tato. Be... Well, well. No, no. It's not well. going to be up. It's not going to be up for, for, for Tato. And if he's uh. up, he's not doing any damage anymore. Well, it takes him off gold. Okay. Ooh, 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 be careful. There's a monk also. There's action in both areas. Are you going to sit down or are you going to keep it stand? <laughs> oh, man. No, Tato. Down castle. I can't believe it. No. He's not doing, he's not doing, he's not doing. Micro. Nah, he's not doing. Ay, 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 he need to micro, but even micro. And he's so many villains inside, Tristan. He's going to be a doubt castle. Unbelievable. Wait, 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 wait. No. He's no. going to block it. He's oh, going to wall man. it. Oh, man, what just happened? He's converting the house instead of the mango. There's a lot going on. Oh, man. He's going to block it. There's a pattern. <laughs> <laughs> he made a pattern there. Okay. Nah, he converted this the mango. Yeah, this is this, this is, is huge. Bad. This is, I mean, yeah, this it's, is huge. it's amazing for Yo. This is yeah. bad for Tato. Ooh. I like the energy, but the decision there, as Tato Ooh. gets a nice clear up there, he killed all the organs and, and another monk. monk. Oh, he converted just before he could kill it. He converted <laughs> as well. What's going? On? This is a true doubt castle, man. <laughs> this is a true doubt castle. Great economy now for Mister Yo. Yeah, I like how Yo is that batard there. And the Batard was, he was going to Batard down Tato's castle if it went up, but he's just like waiting. Okay, well, all. He's like, yeah. can I, I live now? I don't have to die. This is, <laughs> this is pretty nice. <laughs> they don't auto attack units. So Yo, <laughs> Yo's just moving it away. But yeah, like Tato needed that castle to go up. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and Yo realized it. He bought the stone. It was a great recognition for him. And now, funnily enough, Tato still is the Ville lead. But Two now you, Two but, but now you can't go for defensive castle to go fast imp anymore for Trebs. Yeah. So it's like two castles for you to make organ guns from. It's going to be really tricky, I think, for Tato to find an <laughs> offensive way to play this game. He's it's blocking it's with the petard. The petard. Okay. The petard. Let's go. Doing some work. Great accuracy. Actually, he can kill. He can with kill the petard, a villager right? now. Now, yeah. yes. Okay, he's gonna take it. I, Sending more villains is redemption vodka. as well. Yeah, but okay. look at now resources wait, for Yo. Wait, 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 we missed. Did the petard? Okay, we'll get a replay on that, folks, if we can. That's very important. You love this as both things, eh? Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> 20,000 <laughs> videos on YouTube. <laughs> Listen, I just want to point out, Yo killed a trebuchet with a castle dram in game number one, and now he's killed a villager with a batard in game number three. Yo is a going for some pro gamer moves today. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, but it's up to you, Peter. It's impossible for Tato. I mean, he's going to go up to Pillage. You can now do Fightorias. Tato is not even close. He's 10 villains ahead, but if it was 30 or something, but 10 villains is yeah. not an old, right? Especially when, when Yo can add Fatorias to supplement his eco. It's going to be really complicated. I did see Tato's making a lot of monks, and I saw it. I believe he got Atonement to convert the monks from Yo. Mm. 
Yeah, but, uh, good point, but now he will have blood printing as well. Yeah, you know, and he yeah. could do his own uh, Athonament too. I actually think Yo simply going for like two trebs from the from his castles. He clean all? Yeah, he doesn't even need to advance forward. And yeah. then Tata will spend so much time scattering his eco around that Yo can just wait for the Fatorias to bring in resources and go for like, I don't know, the Arbalest or something. Yeah, but he's going for the monks. You see, I mean, he's going mon his own monks, Fatorias, Trebs. Yeah, yeah. He's doing a couple of Fatorias at home you, you, or, or maybe even uh, around the castle here. Yeah. You can do it, whatever. But what's crazy, you know, what's crazy? I think it was the right move by, by, by Tato, honestly, but Mr. Yoro saw it right away. Yeah, he did. He did. And, and he, I mean, now now I think you could say it's not the right move because it, it got denied, and maybe a defensive castle into a fast rimp would have worked for him. But, but, you know, he took a risk, and sometimes when you're... When you don't have the initiative, you need to take some, and that's what Tato tried, but yeah. it was great, great job from Yo. I mean... I mean I will say that the, if this was arena is a hundred percent over, here is a little bit more hope. Yes. Because it's this map that you can expand. Yeah. You know, in arena. Here, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, Tato. Oh. Okay. Well, oh. Tato chose. Ah, it was the, the, the was the organ guns. Okay. Yeah, Tato chose to die that way. I mean, that's a way to go out right there. Thank you, highlight guy. <laughs> 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 okay, twenty populations ahead. Twenty-seven delays more, but the timing. Tristan, and the momentum is for Mr. Yo in a way that we can describe with the GG has been called. Yeah, yeah, wow. GG, wow, what a game. Wow, wow, most wow, created wow. unit from Yo, nine monks, most created unit from Tato, six. I mean, that's some quality Age of Empires right there. But, you know, Yo in two straight games has used the power of the castle, Mem. Uh, and he has found the positioning for the castle, or he has found the proper units from the castles. That game wasn't necessarily about orcing guns, but it was yeah. where the castles were and the monks. This, this game is an example why I love this game. We have seen 45 clearing three hour games, yep. and then this. Yep, I love it. Yep. You know, you, you really don't know what we can expect. I mean, Tato played that game in the, in the tournament before NAC that was the same settings and three hours with ACCM, crazy, you know, and then now 30 minutes game has been. Also, that game. That was uh, that was a nice win from Yo on oh, Tato's two, one home now. map. Oh, two one now. On Tato's home map, Tato will have beach fight remaining for his home maps. I think Mongols might actually be the obvious choice for Tato on beach fight. There's a lot of hunt there, which we could talk about. Uh, oh, Yo just ran. Okay, he just ran away. We missed him, guys. I was wondering why there's a round of applause. Yo is going for a smoke break. Yeah, man. So we we, ta we, ta we have to talk about that. <laughs> it's minus six here. Or, or maybe even less. And they go out. It's freezing. I mean, they see us like with this shirt and so on. How is this is even happening, you know? How is this even happening? Oh, but see, oh. to help you in the cold weather, we have ah. NAC sweatshirts, which we will sign. These are the ones we signed, Nilly. Okay, so I, I need I, to sign? I we have to sign okay. every single one of those at some point. And I, I'll tell you what, people, I'm thrilled. <laughs> I I'm so thrilled to sign that many sweatshirts, but no, seriously, it'll be great. Okay. Uh, a lot of people contributed, supported NAC five, yeah. uh, and, and bought them. Uh, to, obviously, it's gone towards covering Nilly's costs and the prize pool and whatnot. Uh, Nilly, Nilly, can they are there? Can they do more? Uh, people are asking how the order. I'm going to assume they. That's a no, no more, no more. Okay, it's, it's gone, right? Should have checked Liquipedia. Okay. No time. No, no time. time. All right. Yeah, yeah. Why is Nilly? I like how Nilly's acting like he doesn't know how to speak. <laughs> no, he's sick. He's saving the oh, voice. Oh, true. He's saving, he's saving his the voice. voice. So. He's saving his voice. You know. Well, anyways, um, again, it will be really cool. Yeah, and they look pretty, look pretty comfortable, man. Yeah, yeah. You can you can see. Oh my God! Look at that! Look at that tweet about that. I mean, salad. Great moments. Salad. Uh, desk. He's been around a long time. Yeah, from and Denmark. He has been going ham with the tweets. This NAC. He's been doing a great job. There's our practice room. You got ACCM on the far left. You got Andy, who's prepping for his series, which will be well, against Doubt. Doubt and Andy, almost doubt. close. You know? Then have Doubt. Yep. And Andy must be watching the stream. Doubt is not interested, and Andy <laughs> is a little camera shy. But look at Doubt. Yeah. Well, Doubt has to win today. I mean, so does Andy. Well, Andy has won already once it is. Well, so so did Doubt. Wait, no, Doubt lost. No, no. no. Doubt. Doubt is zero too. Ooh, he is zero too. Yeah, that's true. Doubt need to win today. Well, you know? we are that we a are face, winning. That's a face for a winner. That's that a face for a someone face that you don't want to face in the game and in real life, yeah. you know? I, right now. I think that series is going to be really interesting. Like, this series has had diverse strategy more than I thought, but I, I really think that 
this the series coming up will be good. I told Andy before. That uh, Andy, Andy's listening. Sorry that I interrupt you. Stand up, Andy, because people want to see how great what? it looks that that t-shirt, <laughs> that sweater. Stand up, stand up. Yes, and now oh, zoom wow. out. There you go. Okay, there you now go. Walk it looks to good. The left, walk see? to the right. Do a little stretch to the right. Let no I'm kidding. People I'm in the stream, this is what you miss it. You yeah. didn't buy those, and look how rub- great this we're looks. We're kind huh? of rubbing it in, uh, aren't we? Uh, you see? We're kind of rubbing it in. By the way, I didn't buy one. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nelly, bring me one. All right. And um, two one now, it's very dangerous. I told you, like, Mr. Yo is a player that is unpredictable. Yeah. It started so, I, I wouldn't say shaky in the first game, like, yeah. completely different. The, the next two games, so smooth. Yeah. Really, really smooth. And Tato didn't make big mistakes. But... Play good. But can you realistically get to a castle and beach fight? No, there's no stone. Arabia, much more difficult potentially. So, Yo has used castles to get his wins. I saw Tato shake his head a little bit after he lost the previous game. He's a bit disappointed in himself. I think I think this goes to game five. I, I think Tato's yeah. prepped. Well, I won't. Yeah, I, I mean, won't. I, I, I want, but no? I really think, man, like, unfortunately, Tato hasn't been able to play his type of game because of Yo is putting him in these positions. But it will be a bit more difficult for Yo to really keep Tato constricted uh, in the potential following two games. Okay. I still insist that Mr. Yo need this a lot more because also being as a top four invited, you yeah. know, and losing in the first round, he put in a position that he doesn't want to be. Yeah. And being invited, being the favorite, right, it, it's kind of tricky because if you don't get the result that is expected, then you are in trouble. Yeah, agreed. And I mean, everyone's so good here, so it's hard to say, well, it's against Tato if you lose, but, you know, everyone's amazing. Oh, do we know the map that they pick? I wait so we can talk exactly about the ship. Well, I mean, we will have time, you know, but yeah, I, Arabia, it would be what here? Hmm. If he's I think, Arabia. I think Yo goes Byzantines for beach fight. And I think he wants to go Vietnamese or Huns on Arabia. Um, I I personally would, would vote more for Vietnamese on Arabia. Because you think you don't really benefit from knowing the, the TC location of your opponent on beach fight. Because it's like the map is so yeah. cramped. So you save that. So but I would guess Byzantines, Mongols here. And then, yeah, maybe there Vietnamese you go. for something else. And here we are. Game number four. And... Uh, uh, there's a couple of things we got to talk about right off the, the bat here. There's sheep. They're in the sand. You got to look for the, the goats in the sand. And it, it seems like a silly thing, but they're, they're clumped in rows of three. And it's actually really hard to find them sometimes because they're all snug together there. So that's what both players are looking for. And then in the south, you have hunts. And he said right and, away. And Tato's okay. Mongols. So Tato is going really early for the hunt. It's actually pretty uncommon, Mem, to see people go for the hunt. Um, but with Mongols, you have to. Yeah, I mean, it's the only shift that they're going to go. Yep. In this map, you never go because it's so, so far, except if you're going to go now with the scout and block. I'm going to take the rhino. Get a rhino. Is yep. it what he's going to do? Because you can see how far it is, and he's sending a villager, right? I think yeah, he's there is a villager. A you're yeah. right, you're right. He's sending the villager, so he's going to take a rhino. Well, uh, uh, these Black Forest players, you know, Andy and so on, others will take two or three rhinos. <laughs> they will, will be bringing those, you know. It's obviously risky, but there you go. He's going to take the rhino. Well... It's kind of needed, right? Like, there's only the farms and the ships. If you yep. don't take against the Mongols any hand extra, you're going to fall behind. Yeah, I, I agree. But, you know, you're never going to compete with the influx of resources the Mongols get. Never. So you need to think defensive, and you need to find a way to stay alive. So I'd expect Yo to wall between these wood lines and protect himself in whatever way possible. And... I, I wouldn't even hate a fast castle attempt. I would consider this. Oh, he can do it. And you have to you have to think about this as a player. Y- you look at this matchup and you say Mongols should win. If everything goes according to plan, as Tato's got insane amounts of goats, Mongols have the edge. We have a pause here. Yeah. There's something up. Tato had to get up real quick. Yeah. Maybe maybe, maybe it's the window or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, it's he's fine. Back. They're going okay. to continue. But uh, a fast castle here into lances can be can be. Can really be really crazy. good, yeah. yeah. But the problem is that, mm, I mean, Mr. Yo cannot find this. Because if he come here with early aggression and deny this hunt, uh, then Tato is uh, in, a, in a real trouble. Yeah, that's true. That's in true. a real trouble. Yeah, I mean, it's just so tricky. Like, feudal no age aggression. No stone in this map. We, we remind Correct. it. No stone. There's no stone in this map at all. Okay, go on. And it's actually a really big deal as well that the golds are here. Um, I can't tell you the last time I've seen a 1v1 beach fight game go, though, go to those golds because they have the eight tiles to work with at their uh, TC area. 
But yeah, I think like Fast Castle into Spearman Siege push through the middle is maybe what Yo will consider here, and he's gonna have to get his walls down. So do you think that can be Fast Castle for both? Well, this goal so. already for Tato, so it's l ooh, he's doing the loom now. Yeah. But it doesn't necessarily mean that he's gonna try for me. Yeah. One Only castle one went to imp. One but castle built on this map means that someone had to buy five hundred stone. Yeah. Minimum. <laughs> but, but why why is for me? Why that is for me? Oh stat for Mem. Yeah, well for me. I I I <laughs> talked smack to Stat Guy earlier because okay. Stat Guy pointed out I oh, it's pronounce right? something. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the latest thing, thank you. Okay. Um Well yeah, this map know. is not done for going for Imperial. Yeah, yeah. This map is not going not it, done for going for Imperial. It's I mean. like feudal or castle, yeah, correct. Yeah, and it's so close, so the aggression is it has to be there. But we have twenty one population for Tatot. We might say it's impossible to go fast castle. With any other Sith, probably. Maybe with the Mongols it's possible. But how many of these he got on the hunt in the corner? It was only three, right? I think it's just three or four. Three, four. Then yeah. it's probably going to be a feudal aggression. Yeah, yeah. I think like maybe scouts or something. It, it's very interesting that Tatot's doing. No, but this. he's on goal. Like uh, Tatot is on goal. Eh, fair. You know, so maybe he thinks he can. Well, archers would make sense then, I guess. But, yeah. But like maybe he thought he could go up on 21 pop. How many times do you think Tatos collected 15 goats? It, like this yeah. is this is way better. Oh no no no! He's six villains on the hunt. And, it's, and fa it's still fast Rhino. castle. Yeah. It's a still fast castle. He need the wood for the buildings. This is it. Probably what is lower now. He add another on the wood. Yeah. This is the barrack. Yeah. Already, it's lancers. It will be lancers. It's yeah, lancers. I agree. Market, I think lancers market and stable. Yeah, market stable. No, no, actually. You need seats and you need the blast bit, but uh, you don't need the market probably he to balance here. Yeah, right? I think, I think. Um, and the stable is gonna make it here in case that he's gonna get raided. No, no, no. I mean, ideally, eventually you have the market stable, and you also have the blacksmith. Yeah. Because the market helps you balance your ego. But to, in order to make a uh, siege workshop, you will need a blacksmith first. So I think it will be stable blacksmith. Plus, it's cheaper. So. But with this super fast app. Dear Mem, I'm, I'm afraid to read. Because you like short games, and this is the fourth uh, shortest maps on average. Also, the 90 latest fact was because I know and I find it interesting, and it was mentioned. Okay. At least he put the love at the end, you know? <laughs> <laughs> to make it peace, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really, really saved it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, we're going to see now. It's going to make the market or the planet. We were talking about that maybe here, the, the Lance's approach and rate. It's a no for the start because uh, going on siege as well. I mean, your economy is at the limit. He's not even doing that. No, it, he's, he's going. Now. He's going feudal. I think. I think he army. You ever reach that point, Mem, where you're like, yeah, you're in between. You're close enough to castle, but like, oh, so far you're still like 200 food off, and you don't want to wait. You don't want to wait. You don't want to delay eco upgrades. I think Tato just said, let me get a little bit out here first, delay it. I'll still be fine. Yeah, it's still searching for the castle because he's not doing double attacks and not, obviously not horse collar and he's on purpose. Blasphemy is there, so he wants to have some presence in the map and still go for the castle. And probably, as you mentioned, Siege and Lance is so interesting. How crazy is this hand bonus? And, and Mr. Yo is not even thinking that he's in, the, in that corner. If we put Mr. Yo Fog of War, Mr. He Botka, should be scouting that. He's not scouting he anything, right? It's always in the south here. Now that's that's point of view no. from Tato. But oh, oh well, yeah. he scouted only his area, and that's a real problem. On the way to Castle Age, do you know what I smell right now? Uh, Hopefully game not number me. five. No, no, okay. thanks a lot. No, you took a good sour. <laughs> 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 and it's gonna be game number five. I know it's too early, but since it's super short map in average, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it, the, the odds... It's crazy transition. Yeah, the, it, you're right. Like, the odds are there for Tata. This is looking really good. If it stabilizes in Castle Age, though, Byzantines with the cheap camels, cheap spearmen, good vision, good defensive buildings, I think Byzantines can hold, right? Especially when the hunt starts to run out. Now, we still got a lot of hunt down there, but it's still exposed. So, who knows? If Yo finds that, there's only one spearman down there. <sighs> but double is stable. Double is stable for Tato. He can stand now one Lancer to defend, uh, order to raid. I mean, yeah. seriously. It's true that he's not so far, Mr. Yo. Another thing that we didn't mention, the Byzantines here, with Tom West for free, he's going to see any aggression come. Yeah. Yep. Like yep. very early. I mean, I he's going to see it coming. So. I'm, I'm really excited to see how Yo protects the front of his base because I'm envisioning like five Lancers Peace on area, stack. Yeah just destroying a palisade wall, and then they just run right in. I actually think, I think stonewalling. He will wall. 
He will. will. He like, will Stonewall. Yeah, just Stonewall yeah. is really important because he saw three scouts from Tatis, so he might be thinking, oh, I made one less scout or two less scouts. I'm going to be in Castle H faster than him, but... Yeah. I think immediate stone wall yeah. is like just the safe play here. You're yeah, not going to use your stone for anything uh, else. And this is really great because if he's not doing damage early, Byzantines will spam camels. Yeah, exactly. Spam camels, like super cheap. They are weaker. They don't have bloodlines, but you spam them. Bozo already on the way. We don't see anything forward for Tato, right? It's just double stable. Do you think he should go for the forward now? Or well, he is, he is there. Oh, just he's the monastery. there. The monastery. So he's Ooh. actually... On the goal. Tato has been area. able, if we go to back to his fog, Tato's able to make a really nice informed decision based on the golds. He sees the four tile golds being taken, but the other gold should be right beneath this. Yeah, so obviously Yo's not going to go to that one because that's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so Yeah, but he's thinking that he's going to come through this area. Tato, yeah. that guy with the masterpiece here, move, uh, amazing, smart, and going all around. It's farther, yes, but he's taking the goal at the back. Yeah. So he's going to try to punish Mr. Yo on that area. Yeah, I, I mean, it's... It's tough. I mean, this is why I said, like, you just kind of look at this if you're yo at the very start and say, I'm going to have to really work hard to win this one. But so far, he's not dead. And Byzantines have a lot of bonuses that kick in here shortly. So 40 seconds. Tato is not at siege. You'd think the siege would come to kill the villagers to break through. But monks aren't going to hurt. Monks will help if any camels come out. Tato's still all over that hunt. And I mean, the resources collected, while it looks close, it's when the resources have come in. Tato's been oh, able man. to spend so much food on these units right now. It's really, really scary. I mean, the siege will be ideal, but he's at the limit. He cannot make lances, siege, monks, at least not yet. He's now there with the monk. He can't see, so he has to move, relocate those villages on call. He's going to make it or not. He's not doing it. He's going to convert the village. Who is going to make the house to block that area? Byzantine houses also with more HP. All the business. One of the best civilizations Does to defend. Is he a Is he Teutons? What the hell? He's not converting anything. Hello? Okay, he converted. Gets converted. Honestly, just oh, he's got a wall, wall, he's wall got the goal. Wall the goal. Yeah, just be annoying. Yeah, okay. yeah that's okay. fine too. Just attack with it. I mean, at the end of the day, Tato just killed the villager, right? And a lot of army. idle some others. And yeah, lots of army here. A lot of army for Tato. Look but he's not Yo, though. I mean, double stable at Monastery. Yo also has these scouts waiting that Tato didn't see on the right. I think they're on the right. They're, they're close by, and he may loop in to try and kill the monks here soon. He's killing, he's killing the villain with the monk, <laughs> and they he's taking now villain down. He's gonna take probably another. He's killing all the time. Tattled with the with the great move there, and now he take it. And all right, that's so funny. The the, the villain is still alive, you know. Yeah. Damaging the others, but the camps are coming so many. Now he's gonna switch the target into and the camp. And there's the scouts. There's there the scouts, go. but the Ooh. scouts aren't here in time. Yeah, but there's so many lances, there's a lot of army, but recently he's gonna spam many army as well. Who is taking this battle? Tato is, man. The step lancers with that extra range poking away, and two camels getting converted, and the monks even survive. This has gone horrible for Yo. He need to wall. He need to wall. You don't want to let his, this go in. It's true that Tato probably is not gonna commit. Oh, he's gonna take the risk. He knows that he has now the advantage. It's almost 20 population yeah. more, and DC on the hand, how much food he's getting there? Insane amount of food. Yeah, what do you think about, is it too crazy to build the TC in the north? Actually, did Tato kill the hunt with the spearman? Oh! Wow! <laughs> I was gonna say, it was awfully, it, I, I seem oh to recall God. their ostrich. I mean, he's an assassin, man. Also, I mean, what he did with also the spear, that man? just, like, imagine how many clicks Tato had to do. To, to, to kill all uh, this? To kill all of that. Yeah, so Tato's like, I take the hunt, I have the hunt bonus. And if I can't have it, you can. <laughs> can we have a replay for the whole process? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, replay guy hates you this now, dude. Is, yeah, yeah. I, I, sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> He's looking at me. It I'm was sorry. probably, yeah, okay. it was probably a bit ago. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, though, Tato focused We're joking. on everything We're else joking, at the obviously. same time. Like, yeah. the fact that he's done it all at the same time is, is truly incredible. Okay. Well, it's still... Mm. Yo is getting attacked by lions, by the way. And he lost one villager, and he could lose more. The lions are always here, so it is something you have to know. But unfortunately for him, he's a little distracted. I think these villagers should be fine, though. Yeah, not paying attention. The TC should be up. Goldman and Arbit, horse collar. Well, he got horse collar a long time ago. Three TCs already for Tato, so he's not going only with a lot of army, but also with a good economy going. Yeah, and I mean... He's not hitting. He's not hitting the lion. Villager down. He's not Whoa. hitting. Whoa, that was weird. Uh, now he's going to hit the other, but another looked, villain it down. It looks like the villager yeah. stopped. Just look, he lost stuck. two on the Lions. One, three, the, the, yeah. the stats. Woo, woo, the woo. KD. What the hell? Okay, and now Monk's coming. He got the tournament, so it's a massive advantage. They're yeah. here from Tatot. 
insane on point. Yeah, it really. is. It is. And, and I think Yo has done it uh, at the same time, while it looks horrible for Yo, I also think Yo has done a reasonable job with this attempt. A lot of players would be dead already. So there's positives there for Yo, but I mean, dying is what you want to avoid altogether. It's like if the game is close, it's still a loss. Um, so unfortunately... He's gonna defend properly though. Like, he has good amount of camels, monks, and he's gonna make siege. The problem is not that he's gonna defend. It's the economy difference now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like three TCs. Also, he's gonna defend with business. Tato's gonna surprise him. Yo is not used to Mongols going for atonement. I can guarantee that much. Yeah. So Yo may push his monks forward to get conversions, thinking he's safe. And when he does that, Tato could just quickly get the conversions here. Let's see. Like, it's happening right now. I think Yo knows, actually. He somehow picked up on that. Because otherwise, there's no reason no, no, he knows, he knows. there. Yeah. He, he definitely knows. He was trying to, to convert before when he was coming closer before he's open. Yeah, and no. now Tato, four tone center, the one that he was missing Ooh. is just in the corner. That was a good manual shot into the Monk. Now he has a lot of camels. Those camels are plus one, plus one. Those camels definitely will take the Lancers if I, he kill the Monks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Tato might need to... Is it weird to go Mongol Pikemen here? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. The Monks. Okay. There is no redemption, and now he's gonna push it back. Oh! And the problem here for when you are playing against the Byzantines is that Byzantines can spam army forever even yeah. with one TC. And Yo's got the gold. And so close, exactly. Yo's got the gold. Tato denied the hunt, but Yo didn't care about that. And now it's Tato's turn to get attacked here by the Lions. Little woo-woo-woo this way. And TC will go up on the gold, but maybe there's a chance. We've seen Byzantines come back from some pretty crazy yeah. situations. Yeah, and I don't mind Byzantines with two tone centers. Agreed. 600 food, you do a lot of farming, and if you reach Imperial even in a similar time and your opponent with 20 bullets more, yep. for Byzantines, it's not a real problem. And look, look at Tato's starting TC area. In that area, I mean, if he starts to lose fights, if all that dies, I mean, suddenly he's behind it. Vils. That is a really exposed region of the map. So Ooh. we'll see. He's going for the corner? Is Tato going with that army from the co for the corner? He's going to, to take the corner? He has no clue. There? That, that's already there. Yeah, but he can't imagine. I mean, he can't imagine where it has to be to make this army and all this. He's gonna go there. It's going directly. It's going directly there. But Mr. Yo is going as well. Let's go because he's gonna try to make the damage. He bought it what? Food. That's and crazy. Take the resources. We were talking about that. Now he's not going for the corner. He's switching around. The cameras are there. And Mr. Yo is floating resources to go up to Imperial Amos already. It's gonna click in a moment. He's up to Imperial. He's on the way to Imperial. Tristan. What's going on? That's wild. I mean, only yo, though, dude. Like, only yo. It feels like when you're down this this badly, you, you've got to push. You know, you've got to be aggressive. So, he's still a couple, three minutes away. He's, he's stuck on Soli Camel. Back to my point before, I actually think Tato needs pikemen. Yeah, he because now gonna need Heavy pikes. Camel, how do you stop Heavy Camels? And yep. few monks. Yep. You know, I mean, Heavy Camels eat everything there with the army he has right now. And Mr. Yo, just need to be patient. I mean, you see the score and you kind of be scary, but it's Byzantines. He knows the monks are coming. Those camels now are more or less even upgrades, but soon it's not going to be the same. Yeah, I honestly, I actually don't even think upgrades are important. It's all numbers. Yeah. And, yeah, and yeah. if it's and it's cheap for the Byzantines to make camels. So <laughs> also, <laughs> Okay, I was just gonna see like what would Yo do with that gold. If Yo could buy a castle, a castle, like a big push, buy a castle and castle drop it, that would be insane. Yeah, Mongols don't really have good army now to counter. I think Tato's buying things. a castle. He's at 200 stone, yeah, and he's on four TCs. He's been buying quite a bit of stone. Yeah, but he's not, not expecting that Mister Yo is gonna be up to Imperial. Maybe, I, mean, uh, I would say, I would be surprised, personally. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Look at how much he's spending. 400 gold, basically, for 200 stone. And price is obviously going to get 40 worse. villas more, though. I mean, 40 villas yeah. more, though, for, for Tatot, who is still very, very far to going up. So interesting, interesting game. After all this, it looks like it happens a lot. KD, pretty low. Yep. I mean, they have been controlling the units both really, really well. Okay, so the Byzantine... Camels are cheaper, not stronger. The lack of bloodlines hurts. And right now, Tato is mixing in his own camels. So I think with 15 Lancers and 10 camels, this would actually be a, a better fight for Tato because of the way the Lancers engage. Um, they're, they're getting hit from distance, and it's hard for the camels oh, to Oh, coming, coming with a castle forward. But I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't really mind to see heavy camel, but also buying a castle himself, he cannot because he has only 500, yeah, he can. 500 gold. Uh, I wouldn't mind camels from Byzantines with the plus four. Tato needs to chop that tree here. 
Okay. He needs to chop that tree. It. Chop the tree. But he see everything. On it. Can we put a point of view from Yo? He see everything. Thanks to the Tom Patrick, he see everything. And the cameras are going to come. The cameras are going to come. He's going to the lead. What is he? No, 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 no. He's bringing Mills. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Just now kidding. He, yeah. He deli he now wall it. That's now. amazing for the Lancers. Yeah. That is amazing for the Lancers. You cannot run into that if you're Yo. But he feels he needs to because that castle will deny so much, so many resources. It'll control such a good area of the map. Tato's still in Castle Age. Yo getting heavy camel. Yo actually has a chance right now. Yeah, those heavy camels are, and plus four. Plus four, when he's coming here with the camels, he's not gonna have a problem. Those camels are gonna clean this army. I like how Tato made the castle forward, but he need to go Imperial yeah. at some point, right? Yeah, actually, actually, no. I, no. I think if you have 40 bills, you can- Oh, well, him. look at the population. You're right. Yeah, I think, I think right. like, the safe play is actually just a lot of pikes. But I can understand as well with the forward castle. It's just, this game is so messy to think about it that way. Right now, Tato's gonna be happy to see Heavy Camel is at Yo's base instead of coming over to his TCs or yeah. something. But the problem is that now he has to go away. I mean, yeah. these camels are gonna melt yeah, all yeah, the he's army. Gotta find an answer. All the army from, uh, from, uh, from Tato. It's crazy. He still have crazy population. Double the population right now. He just double the population. But military numbers is similar. Yeah. Mr. Yo needed castle. This is why he has now a thousand gold. And he's gonna I buy a castle and put on his TC. I think he might try it. I just wonder, there he's trying, look at how much he's spending. That's a lot, like the prices oh, oh, oh. are bad. He dude. got it, 500 stone now, 500 stone, he's buying the stone. 500 stone for Mr. Yo, he need 200 stone more. <laughs> he need 200 stone more, but he has no, no resources yet. And it's expensive, it's very expensive, he got it. No, he bought it. Uh, he bought it he's, now. He's buying it. More, <laughs> more. Man, the taxes are killing everyone, yeah. right? <laughs> uh, oh, but the ready now is real. Ooh. That that's a big deal. Ooh. That's that's the farming eco for and Tato. Tato is not Tato reacting. Tato doesn't see it. Tato And the castle, the castle's going up for yo. Oh man. Who is winning this game? Even if you see this kind of population, remember that we saw this map before in team games and crazy combats happen. Yeah, you're in absolutely this one, right. You know, because this map is wild, really, really wild. I mean, the fact that Yo can make a treb now and take out a castle on a map where you have to spend so much gold to buy the castle is insane. He's gonna take the Yo with can't, No, no, no. <laughs> Yo's Tato can't go imp. And Yo farmers can't this. be killed. I wonder, Tatsu's gonna buy another castle? He has to, uh, because if you lose that castle, what he's doing? He's gonna drop it down there. Oh my <laughs> God, look at the castle he's dropping because it's all his farm. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The farming is there. And, yeah. and remember, people doesn't know, I don't think we mentioned, you cannot build farms in that desertical area between the corners. Yeah. You cannot build anything. So you only can build in the middle and in the corners. Yo's food eco was all around that starting TC, man. And the pikemen are going to take a fight. Now, it's, this is the thing. It's, it's imp armor, right? Good imp upgrades from Yo, and the pikemen just don't do much at all. It, it, this is why Yo might have a chance, despite being half the population of Tato. It, it's incredible. Let's see if those camels are going to be able to melt these units. It's plus four. Plus four heavy camels. Look how he's taking all the units, and now he keeps raiding. The castle that he has forward, also Tato is going to be down. We see the flashing in the mini-map. Incredible game. Yeah, it's an incredible game, and the trap's going to be out, so Tato will just lose that castle. You obviously have no stone to repair it. I think you give it up. Tato, though, as he, he lost the first fight there, he's got enough. He's starting to clear this up. And the big worry for Yo is, can Yo actually produce more camels now? Because it, you still need the food. It, it, he's going to have, like, maybe 15 or so. He's now, buying. He's buying. He has 1,000 1, gold. He's yeah, buying resources true, true. right now. But, but, like, right now, I think, is when you want to go imp as the, uh, as the Mongols. You actually stop making villagers. You're at 120 already. You just gotta, you just gotta shut off the vill production and hope to save up the resources. So go, so go. Probably, uh, uh, Mister Yo to try to rate the gold because if he are, if he rate gold yeah. from Tato, Tato has no answers. Yeah, I think the problem is you just have one tiny force. It's just the 19 camels, and they gotta stick together. Yeah. So and two TCs also in the goal for yeah. you, so he cannot really kill it with that army, right? Yeah, but it's still raiding, still raiding, and now Mr. Yo is killing more and more economy. Oh my god, this is incredible. Tato is about to go up to Imperial, but it, is this going to be an oath? Because the castle Tato has is in the corner. Yeah, and that's, and that's actually, it's actually...
good in this case because it won't be trapped down. I think Tato is actually stabilized here. Sorry, folks, we're seeing a little bit of lag there on our end. We'll try and sort that out. But yeah, the, the Pikemen are holding. The Mangadai are really good against Camels if you get the mass. I didn't think we'd ever see Castles, much less like Mangadai, but Tato's going to have like 25, 30 Mangadai with Pikes. And Yo's still at 67 villagers. Yo needs to find a good engagement now, Memp. Yeah, he does have. I mean, he's four ton centers now. He has 40 C's now, yep. Mr. Yo. So yep. he's still booming, but, well, booming. 67, 40 C's and he's in zero village. You I know? love how he's, he's got doing. a TC in the north and, he, and he's not going to have any hunt up there. That Spearman earlier paid off. Yeah, Yo's just like building houses or something in the north. But look at this. This is Castle Age Mangadai. Look how quickly they're killing the camels right now. Yeah. And it's heavy camels fully abraded from yeah, this. Yeah, you know, <laughs> seriously. Yeah, I mean, look. Bam. So imagine when he's going to have the plus three. So uh, some skirmishes maybe, but he doesn't have resources. Yeah, it's, the problem it's, is that he has no resources. I mean, skirmishes would be ideal, and they are very cheap from yeah. this and this. But with a proper economy, this is only 68. It, it, it is still going to happen then the game number five, Mr. Tristan? I because think it will. A third castle. He bought it three castles in a map with no stone. That bought it three castles, man. Yeah, and, and I mean, Yo bought one as well, right? Yeah, <laughs> What's the so price? four castles, you know. <laughs> 250 gold to buy the next 100 stone. I mean, if this was a closer game, it would be wild to see what happens if players buy so much and then they run out of gold in the corners, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, I, I honestly, I feel like after seeing this game, if Tato didn't have quite a lead, uh, quite as much a lead maybe as possible because they've worked through a lot of that gold. But Tato is still 15 seconds away. He... Does receive a shot there, but like you said, Memby, just garrisons these TCs. As long as he garrisons these yeah. TCs, the camels won't kill Vils. And the Mangadai could be fully upgraded, and there's still 30 pikes out. This is going to be so tough for you. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy what the economy has got tattooed. That has killed 30, 32 villages and is still ahead for 50. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. 50 and villages, you know. Like Mongol late game. Better than Byzantine late game. If you're getting to the techs, uh, there's not many civilizations that can be better than the Byzantine late game because everything's cheap for Byzantines. But you're going to see the fight taken by Mr. Yo because he knows it's only going to get worse for him as upgrades come in for Tato here in him. And just now the imp upgrades are going to be in for Tato. So that was that was a, a, a good engagement from Yo yeah. to force Tato back. More than decent, actually. He forced completely to go back. He's now doing fletching, so he's gonna switch into skirmishes. This is a trebuchet here, but he's lonely, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Feel lonely that trap. Poor trebuchet, but at least skirmishes coming. And still, 81 villages. I mean, if his Byzantines looks too little, but 32 farmer, 30 on goal. Yeah, it is possible. Well, Mr. Yo's gonna keep trying. That's for sure. Yeah, Yo's yeah, gonna fight here. I mean, again. He came into this, and I'm sure his mindset was Mongols should win, right? He's made it here. It's pretty close. He's going to fight it out. He's always going to keep fighting, but at the end of the day, I think this is always going to come to the finale mem, which is game five, which should be two top-tier civilizations and An top-tier game plans on Arabia. And yeah. Arabia, yeah. whoa. With, with two players that, uh, I mean... We expect kind of five games between those two. Yeah. I mean, a 3 0, zero 3, no matter what, it shouldn't happen between those two. And it's not going to happen. It's 200 population. He keep raiding. He keep trying. Man, the, 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 the attitude, right? The mentality from these players, you know? Yeah, I it's mean. It's not even checking. The, 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 I mean, you are checking there the score if you're playing, or you are checking the score, and I'm full depressed. Yeah, they yeah, keep yeah. going, you know? <laughs> You know, well, they feel that there's a small chance they're going to keep going. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a part of this where he's like, just kill me, Tato. Tato hasn't added any siege to kill him yet. Get but tyrant. Tato, but yeah, but like, eh? Tato, Tato's like taking his time. He doesn't want to take any risks. And also, how many times do you get to play with Elite Mangadai in a 1v1 these days? So I imagine there's a part of this for Tato. He's really enjoying it. Like, he's got drill. So he's going to choo-choo his way over to that right corner. And that, that's going to be the killing blow, man. Even just two capped rams with Mangadai should be enough to take out the TCs. And there's, what, nine, ten camels, six skirms for you? Yeah. Tons of upgrades missing. This is just not... Well, he's doing now the, the plus three and ballistic. But, uh, okay, camels are coming. He need to kill those rams. And then maybe, but it's still a handed population only. Anything you send to kill, man. anything you send to kill the Rams is gonna die pretty quickly here. That's the problem. Oh man, yeah. There's the lead Mangadai. Sorry, he didn't have it before. Yeah, well, but he's gonna be now fully upgraded. Those camels out there. He's not gonna be able to defend with that army. That is gonna be down. <laughs> and when he's taking the tone center, that is just happening right now. I <laughs> it's over. I'm laughing because what does Yo think can win him the game right now? 
He has no gold. I have he seen is. worse situations, you know? I mean, I mean don't want to talk about anything, you this know? This is the perfect I mean. example of what everyone's saying oh, about no. Yo. Oh, no. Well, Sichona is even. What the hell? Like, oh, man. I mean, there's there's being a fighter, and there's also just... I, I, I don't know. It's, he takes it to another extreme here, man. <laughs> I guess he figures... And then you know what? You know what? He win the series and we go to the interview. What you were thinking? Did you think well, that you could win in that, in, in that point? And he will tell you, why not? Yeah. <laughs> well, there's... Why not? Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I also think you also can be very tunnel visioned when you're playing. So uh, I, I think for him... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, you don't see the score, you don't see the population as much. <laughs> Look at houses here. It's just funny, like he's stuck in the middle. Like in the berries with he's, 20 villains there, you know? <laughs> he has like, no gold. It's his food. I think Tato, it. we might see Tato send a message and go for Siege Onager here. Like he got Onager and Drill already. I think he's going to click SO. He's going to make it. And he's honestly, it. is it too much, Mem? No, it's for the statistics guy. Is it too, you know? Yeah, but like the uh, first time ever is Sichon is yeah, true, and then true. in the next one he's Statistics gonna, gonna win like ass, you know? <laughs> would it would it make sense though to like wait and then you onage all the wood and bam 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 just take out all the trees and then you just like completely mentally dominate your opponent and then go to game five. This will be a map nothing. <laughs> you know, but nothing to nothing, you nothing, know, not any nothing, resources, nothing, you yeah. know? Okay, let's see now. We're gonna go with the mango that's a least skirmishes and Mm. Tato could listen, guys. Tato could be using Onager right now. He could be. Uh, he seems to be the waiting for that Siege Onager upgrade, or maybe he's got. Oh, this is gonna be too tempting, man. We're gonna have a big battle boom. Yeah, this game. I mean, just look at the army numbers for. Oh <laughs> man, he's gonna take it, baba boom. He's gonna make another. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, kill it, babe, kill it. And now he called it GG, you know? <laughs> so the owner is, it was really needed, you know? But he made it work for it. Yeah. yeah. You know, he made him research. Elite Magodites, fully abraded, even almost sea chorners at the end. Absolutely everything. Yeah. It was, know, it was a great fight from you. It was a great fight from you. I mean, I never thought that the game, game would was go amazing. Up. I mean, I never thought that game would go up. Here's the replay look, on look, that. Look, look. I mean, the skirmishers were paying attention, and there was a split attempt there, but Tata with some good patience. Oof. And well, I mean, let's let's go back to the importance of this match because I know people here are just coming to see who wins this best of five. But Tato is two and zero in sets, and the goal for all these players is only going to be two people that can do this: is to at the conclusion of the five day group stage, end up being like four zero or no, sorry four one or five zero, yeah. right? And if you do that, it means you're top two. You get a buy to the semifinals, which means you don't need to go through the crazy quarters with a lot of big names. So. Tata wins this game, and here's our, uh, here's, I don't know what Nilly's pointing at. But you don't see it. Can, can they move the camera? I don't know. They can move the camera. Oh, oh <laughs> Lear is ready. Lear is really epic, ready, you know? Epic series. <laughs> epic series, and Leary is clearly enjoying it here, folks. He, do you think he's thinking about what strategy he's going to use against the Viper right now? That, I'm sure he is dreaming exactly about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, God, that was terrifying. The camera can be moved now, please. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm okay. I would really like to see the draft for no particular reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind either. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but to finish my point here, Tata's one win away from going up 3-0, having beat the Viper, having beat Yo, having then beat Oof. day one. I actually forget who he played at this point. but uh, Andy? Andy, yeah. I mean, this would be huge for Tata. For Yo... He's one one right now, then he'll be 2-1. So, like, there's still that dream for both of them that they could potentially get the bye to the semis. This win means so much to both. Yeah. And, and I'm thinking about the Sifs. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, Hans is not an option, right? Because he can go with Jaras. And how do you beat Gujaras with the Hans? I mean... I, I actually think Hans can do pretty well there, but I agree that it's it's a little it's risky. It's tricky, right? Yeah, yeah. It seems like a, a safest choice to go Vietnam. I think so. Britons is not having any good results in the tournament. I would I would be surprised if he picked Britons. So what what do you think? Or maybe Britons can be can be good hmm. against the Sifs that. Uh, I mean, has. Tato's a great archer player, but I think playing Britons against Vietnamese could be potentially a problem against the, the strong skirms and rats and archers. Later Bomb Barcanos even in late game. Yeah, agreed. You know, um, you might in a potential triple to war, adding also yeah, yeah. the Bomb Barcanos. Yeah, you got. Uh, the were wolf bat. Uh, I actually like. You still have extra range with Britons. You still have cheap TCs. There are. I. I, I don't. But, but hate I'm it. taking the statistics, and Britons is one of the worst civilizations really? in the win rated. Sixteen percent. 
16. How many games played, though? I don't know, but I saw it okay. in the in the link that that Emily sent in Discord. Yeah, and yeah. It's one of the of the wars at the bottom completely. Okay, yeah. You know? I mean, I, I I think it will be Gurjara's versus Vietnamese here. I think Gurjara Eco feels a bit better. Tato has a bit more mobility, which you want. To and for have. his gameplay, yeah. For yeah. Tato's gameplay, going with the mobility with some riders also here and there, raiding, going full army as yeah. well. You know, it's. It makes sense, probably, but let's see. There you go. Hans, but it's Hans, Hans versus Gurjar. Oh, this will be fun. This will be really Ooh. fun. I mean, I'm a big Huns, big fan of the Huns pick here uh, for their flexibility and how open they can be. And yeah, that's what you want to get to. You want to go Pike, Cav Archer in this matchup, obviously, if we go to Castle Age. But early on, uh, the Gurjaras have nice little spike of eco. They have the berries underneath the TC. They, they could put, toss all their sheep and whatnot into the mill for some food. So they have the cleaner start. The Huns really start to feel strong men in messy games. So I could even see Yo trying to go forward like he did in the Lithuanians game to make it messy. Or when you're like arriving to Castle Age. That's when not having to build houses saves you so much wood and you can really take advantage of the faster producing stables and the super cheap cab archers. And if he explore each other, they are close. They're really They're close. very close. Look at that uh, generation. I mean, we, how we say this? One is in the north, one is in the south, one is yep. in the east. Yep. They're, all, they're both together, almost in the same spot, you know. Yep. As I read, remember, Mr. Yo hands the goal for Mr. Yo. Well, we will see it later because now we are focusing on Tato. And the goal is also forward. Berries at the back. Wood on the right side. As you can see, he's luring. And then goal on the right for Yo in a very open area, I will say. So... I don't know which map I prefer here. Yeah, I, I think slight differences. I noticed that like Yo has more wood lines to work with, but a yeah. lot of the wood lines are rather forward too. So I think this is not going to be a game we, we finish saying one person's map is, is better than the other. The golds are yeah. really problematic uh, with both. And I think scouting now becomes my my our talking point because in this Nineville start mem. On Arabia especially, players like kind of expect an opening. They're like, okay, it's probably scouts. There's nothing I need to check. They're going to push in every deer they can, and then they're going to move out. And if they still got an extra deer or two, they might not scout until the normal time, and then they might go to the south. Yeah. Or, like, or Yo might go like all the way to the east and just completely miss his opponent. Yeah. Tato, 6 o'clock. Then look, Hans, look at them. Look at where their scouts are, though. Like they're both pushing deer. <laughs> Almost, they're gonna meet each the, other. Yeah, what? they're pushing deer from the same, same area, area, which is like hilarious. And and maybe they encountered each other. I kind of doubt it, but yeah, it is an interesting generation here to to put us in this spot. Very quick up for Tato. One volley uh, faster, so that means 25 seconds faster. Remember, that's the time that you need to generate one. And a uh, scout approach. Britons are one five, which is. Fifth worst by percentage after Hindustanis, okay. Bulgarians, Ethiopians, and Teutons. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, it's you're right, quite Britain, some. Sir. Yeah, you know, it's quite some, you know. I mean, it's wild because Britons used to be one of the best civs, but then all these new civs have been introduced. There's been a lot of buffs, and Britons have pretty much been left alone. So I think that might be part of it. But again, scouting a big deal. It's four war. Scouting a big deal. No, no it's, it's a lumber camp. It's a lumber yep. camp. Okay, okay. Okay, so it's a lumber camp. It's gonna be a scout problem. Look, I mean, you look at their scouts. Look at their scouts. They uh, might pass each other again. Look Look at where they're headed. Yo is actually, I think, looking for his additional sheep right now because he's missing two. Also, if he finds now the Gujaras, another two sheeps for yeah. for Tatot and, uh, well, extra bonus, extra economy. But he's going just completely opposite side right mm -hmm. now, yeah. Tatot. Yeah. Completely opposite. And he's going to find his two sheeps. Going to be needed for the scout production. And um, this. do you think they are going to commit uh, feudal a lot because they are not walling at all? Yeah, I think that I think it, it could turn into that easily here. I think scouts would make sense from Tato. I mean, if Tato could find his opponent right now, that'd be amazing because he's got this 20-second window with the faster camel, and that camel could really chew down that scout. But that's going to tell him that Yo is over here. So, I mean, much faster recognition from Tato on this because Yo still hasn't moved out of his base. And Tato will find Yo's berries now, so Tato has his target. And Yo is no clue. So he's going to go scouts. There is a chance that if he stays home at all, he never finds Tato for a bit here. Yeah, and that's definitely not what you want. And he's going now to the wrong position, probably. We'll yeah. see. He needs to send some spear. Well, he'll actually see it oh, somehow. Oh, he's going to have some luck. Yeah, he see the goal. Yeah. He's the main goal. And that's and why they wait. The that's why they nice. wait. Because more often than not, they're going to figure it out anyways. Okay. That's a nice one. A spear already to protect that area. Both are going to go for the for the scouts. There you go. Three farmers already. 
well, a stand that the scout is Pierce, and now uh, Micro is so important. Yeah. Also, by the way, guys, I, I see people very confused. Huns cannot build houses, but in a nine villager start, which is what this tournament uses, you always start with two. So that is why the Hun player has houses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, he can delete it if he want, but he's using just like a build, so it yeah, can work yeah. even like a wall, uh, potentially. You it's know? nice. You know, if it rains, you actually have somewhere to sleep at night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, now he's going to make the house. He could palisade this, this area. This area really quick and really easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's not doing. The spears are already in all the all the resources, so he's well protected. Yeah, a couple spears at home. Knows his opponent's going scouts. This is going to be scouts from both. Nice spear hit there from Tato. But thus far, Gurjar is as expected with a, few, a bit more in the way of res collected. And also, if that camel engages against any of these scouts, more bonus damage to work with. So it's looking pretty good for both. I like how Yo... And Tato have kind of accepted that a full wall might leave them open to damage. This game is so important. You can't be leaving yourself too exposed. So as we see uh, Tato being exposed there and, and defending with Spearman, uh, they're just take, playing low risk right yep. now with those Lumberjacks. Can you check Vodka if he saw that archery range? Point of view from Joe. Uh, and see if he, if he saw it. He, he saw it, it already, yep. so it's nice. He's aware. Now I believe that the answer is it's another archery range, even more when the map is not wall. Yeah, it's interesting. Tato just now headed to gold. So that makes sense if your opponent's going heavy spear. But I mean, Tato himself has had a lot of spears. Yo only has yeah. two. Yo will actually have really solid scout numbers. And Tato, ooh. ooh, that could have been really sick. I mean, we've seen some traps from Tato over the years. That could have been two spearmen directly headed in there towards three scouts. They would have all died. Yeah, he's with the RT range. I think he's needed uh, to make a few skirmishes as well. Anyway, transition might be Cavarches probably. You don't want to go knights probably against the Gurjaras. I mean, if you go knights and spears, maybe. But RT range is needed. Some skirmishes going around now with those scouts. He's going to find some damage. I don't know. I think he's going out to the berries. I'm not sure if he has that spears in the north. That wood line for Yo. As He's taking oh, a villager. Gonna, I, was the villager. You, I was telling you, he moved that, that, that spear. I was checking there and I was like, no spear at all. One villager down. Small advantage in that regard for Yo, but more army for Tato. Tato has and fletching, no. Yeah, but but I mean, this wood line is a real problem, Emp, right? Yeah. The only way to run with those two oh. vills or three vills on the left of that lumber camp is to run into that army. And that archer is going to slowly start picking off vills there. So, you know, the army's got to, there's got to be something that addresses this. It is, thankfully for Yo, just one archer. He's bringing spears, he's bringing skirms right now. Yeah, he's going to try to clean that. I don't think he's going to take the village because he has no fletching also. He's taking a while. He needs to move on from there. The spears and the skims are still arriving in time. And this is, I mean, Hans is very smooth to play. Yeah. Love to play with them. It's true that can have some problems in some situations, but yeah, you don't house wall, but not having to make farms. And in, we forgot how much wood you are saving in the long run, you know? Yeah. All those houses that you are not doing is a lot of resources that you are gathering and to make farms, to make better economy. Yeah, absolutely. And, and like I said, that adds up more and more as the game yeah. goes on. Also, when it gets messy, right? Uh, when it's messy, you, you can run into some issues at times where um, you don't realize you're going to get population yep. capped, and then suddenly you don't have additional 5, 10 population. Hunts don't run into that problem. More archers. I don't think Yo knew where Tata went for a moment. Now this could be a problem. Fletching is in, and Yo will lose a villager. Yeah, mm, uh, maybe not only one. Maybe he's going to lose another. Okay, there's a lot of farming. So now it's 1-1 one, one for both players. Can't be close at the game. 52 population, 48. He's going to go away with that army. And still, hands are hands, and I like a lot in these situations, hands... It looks so great. Look at the foot already, almost 20 farmers. It's through 17 as well. And with the Gujarat's bonus, so it should be close. Both are using everything. There's still a lot of wood here for, for Yo. Big, uh, floating 400 wood. Big difference with the armies here, Mem, is that archers actually contribute pretty heavily towards scouts. Skirmishers Ooh. do not. So something yep. to think about. Tato actually separated his scouts from his army. So now he doesn't have the big group of scouts against the skirms. But he does have more scouts, and he is coming home, and I think Yo's going to have to back away here. Otherwise, he could lose all these skirmishers. He's going to lose them probably all. Bloodless is already going to be kicking. I don't know if you want to take this battle even more when he get the Bloodless. He's going to go for the hill. He's going to try to get the hill. This battle is not a good one for Yo. He's definitely not a good one. He needs to go away. Yep, he well. has to go away right now. Oh, man, the unit regroup there. He regroups directly into Tato's units. It doesn't help Yo, and he just simply has been baited forward, and he's overextended at Tato, who could be 
be 3-0 and in sets if he wins this, is hungry right now to get the wins. And look at this micro from Tato. He's killing the Spearman. The Spearman are all gone. He's and Yo is falling apart. Yeah, he's moving the wood. I mean, he needed a tower, but he's not in time. Now he's going to lose four villains. This is with the bloodlines. Mr. Yo is in a big problem. Tato is probably taking a great position to take this game number five, Tristan. Wow, this is crazy. So now, I mean, that that's obviously quite bad. It doesn't take a genius to figure that one out. You need more army. You need more army. You need more upgrades if you can if you're Yo. And then you need to hope that you can clamp down on this. But the problem is with Tato, he's got so many spears and you don't have a way to engage against those spears if you have primarily scouts, man. Yeah, you cannot. Also, there's no wood save now for, for Yo. Yo has made a tower close to the goal and the farmers, but the wood is exposed and he's gonna take more. It's already six villains kill. He's eight villains behind, and resources are getting better and better for the Spaniard. So he's not gonna have the initiative with the army here. He's probably going to go up to Castellich faster, you know? Titanic. Yeah, and, and this, listen, the way I'm seeing it right now is Tato's just moments away from closing this game out. His unit control is absolutely incredible. No wonder in like game number one in this series that Yo wanted to wall up on that open map, right? He doesn't want to deal with this crap. Beautiful okay. stuff from Yo. He's invested a lot into the defense. Ooh. He will actually get a pretty Please. decent clear here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, uh, he did the bloodless and four, well, yeah. how it was. Now he's really less, you know, yeah, but yeah, yeah. still. The advantage is still so, so clear. 10 villains more, more army. The most important is the villain lead now that is massive because it, now Tatot can keep just doing army all the time and yeah. still probably reach it just, it just, it, You just got the next wave coming, yeah. right? You got more scouts coming. The archers are there too. Yo's had big wood problems here. He hasn't been able to wall up. The tower doesn't actually even fully protect the gold for what it's worth. Like archers behind the gold protect and oh no, not again. Villagers. Is the oh, no. here? Oh man, the Yavul here again and again. Why he sent it there? I mean this wood is so far from the TC. Maybe the other was a little bit closer, but still the problem is that now Mr. Yo is all the time reacting. moving village, yeah. reacting, not attacking. You want to be the aggressive here with the hands, and it looks really, really bad for Yo, who can be one two. After day number three. Yeah, one, two, NAC, and then Tato's 3-0. Wow. Like, if, wow. if Tato wins this, Tato is one of the players to beat at NAC5 and, and is going to be feeling really good about himself. Again, on the back of a victory against the Viper yesterday, 3-2, which was huge. But, uh, you know, Yo's got to produce oh, more. He's got to get more army, but man, yeah, I mean, it's we know Yo likes to hold on. Yeah, uh, yeah, but, but uh, this, this, you know just, the kind of map. Yeah, you know just, the kind of map. I do I mean, not know how you survive from this. Yeah, I mean, he's not wall, so he cannot hold and g gain time himself. He's doing a skill bar in armor. He has nine army against the team. Well, not a lot of army, but a guy, a guy in all those villains exposed is going to take what? Two more? One more down. Oh, there yeah. you go. The one uh, at the back. Some skirmishes. It's flawless. It is yeah. flawless. He is so active. The timing, the upgrades, everything's so perfect. By the way, oh, well, okay. Okay, Tato, I said you were flawless. Sorry, guys, that was my fault. Um, Tato he in the tone center. No. Yeah, that, that was my okay. fault, but I shouldn't have said anything. But but listen, like, <laughs> this is amazing. I just got to say, I don't trust the fact that he's his heart rate's going down right now. <laughs> that, <laughs> there is no I way mean, Tato's got a 50 heart rate when he's playing in this intense of a game. There's what no is, way. What is down is the watch that he's playing in the floor. Yeah? You know, like <laughs> he throw it, and then the wise is 50, 54. I do I mean, not probably. trust technology. <laughs> OK. Anyway, 47 population, 62. For those that are Tatito fanboys in 45 seconds, I don't know if Mr. Yo is going to give up. But it's looking really awful because he's not even close to yeah, go up. Yeah. I mean, well, 450 gold, he can make the I market. Eh, Tristan is looking at the Spaniards. He's going to be with the 3-0 in a moment. Yeah, and, and I mean, it's not even just the wins, man. It's the fact that Tato was 2-1 down. It's how Tato went down, right? Like, yep. he got unique. He got castle pushed uh, in the one game. Uh, he had a horrible doubt castle that got that failed. He had Latis all through his base. There He's was so it. much that happened here, and Tato then it. brought it back. He is 3-0 and in the group stage in NAC5, and that was an excellent performance from Tato. What a series. What a series, 3-2. I mean, I'm being 2-1 behind. With that previous map, now this one so smooth, it's crazy. It's